Marshman call for the voyage 8 to 10, 200 metre freestyle relay. The history team managers to organise their team to report to the marshalling area, please. We'll start the marshal. Event number one, the voyage 8 to 10 years, 200 metre freestyle relay. They will move to the marshalling area, please. Sound working? Do you know? Can you hear that coming through you? And you let me know if it's any good. Uh, do you want to whack the top now? Can't good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning and welcome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you want to wear them? No. Um, yeah, I'll send them a text right now, and then. 
unless someone back will be live. Cool. It's hiding from the sun there. I thought you were here for an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm happy to do it. <laughs> We're broadcast across the world. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome to the South Coast Schools Primary Schools Swimming Championships for 2024. We'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that we are uh, meeting on here today. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging and celebrate the diversity of Aboriginal peoples in their ongoing cultures and connections to the lands and the waters. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, good morning and welcome to the uh, Primary Schools uh, South Coast Swimming Championships and Trials for 2024. We're coming to you uh, live from Dapto Pool, beautiful pool and suburb in uh, the Illawarra, just south of Wollongong. We've got a temperature that's probably going to climb into the uh, high 20s today. I got some great information from the pool staff yesterday that the the water temperature is running at a, a beautiful 26 to 28 degrees, so that's comforting. We've got perfect conditions for swimming this morning, and um, we've got a lot of students from across the South Coast region. We have their parents and supporters uh, here as well, and uh, we certainly uh, hope they've had good journeys to get here, um, and we wish all of the competitors the very best of luck for the championships today. Let's keep in mind that um, it is a, a, a carnival and a championship that is in a progression of events. Students qualifying through their school carnivals zone uh, to get to the regional championships and then with a little bit of luck and some good management and some good swimming they may find their way through to the state championships at uh, Olympic Park a little bit down the track. Let's look forward to a great day of swimming. We hope you enjoy uh, the broadcast and uh, we'll be starting up, opening up proceedings today with some 4x50 metre relays which are always exciting. Let's look forward to a great day of swimming and uh, hope you enjoy the broadcast. Thank you.
All right, uh, welcome to the championships. Here we are with event one. We have the boys, 8 to 10 years, 200 metres. It's 4 by 50 if you like. Freestyle relay. Heat one of three here. Bungendor, lane one. Kayama, lane two. Naruma, lane three. Shell Cove, lane four. Coromel East, lane five. Shell Harbour, lane six. Aladala, lane seven. Wanuna, lane eight. And Jerangong, lane eight. For Bungendor, Nelson Jones, Patrick Todd, Kobe Ma Mayer, Liam Gronau. For Kayama, Parker Pa, Levi Carter, Timothy Woolley. For Naruma, Levi Skinner, Indy Campbell, Nathan Robinson, Flinder Black, for Shell Cove, Kingston Galloway, Reuben Miller, Heath Brilski, Ryan Downs, for Cromwell East, Byron Lumpko, Kenu McDonald, Dylan Kerr, Zane Hines, for Shell Harbour, Aidan Rollins, Hudson Sulter, Sebastian Sheedy, Hudson Beveridge, Aladala, William Parks, Reggie Swaco, Arlo Mitchell, Chevy Ward, for Winuna in lane eight, Monty Galvin, Kai Terry, Reg Fisher and Cameron Mailing, and in Jerangong, going in lane nine, Tom Hallinan, Lachlan Darragh, Louis Payne and Ollie Ring. That makes up our composition of swimmers for event number one, heat one, which is the 8 to 10 years, 200 metres, 4 by 50 metre freestyle relay. Perfect conditions here this morning. It's going to warm up a little as the day goes on. Uh, we've had some heat in the, in the, uh, in the, the air at the moment. We're probably sitting in the low 20s. We're very fortunate. It was yesterday um, the secondary schools championships were held at this same venue. Uh, a little cloud cover in the afternoon, which really helped. But uh, I'd have to say that it's going to be very, very important for people to uh, be aware and to be applying their sun protection throughout the day. We've got in heat one... Lane five, it looks like Coromel East have uh, done enough to get to the front and they have a six or seven metre lead in Coromel East. They're going to bring it home, I would say, lane five for the first victory of the day. Coromel East, beautiful little school out along Pioneer Road. Hope you are tuning in this morning. If you're watching from your schools, welcome to the broadcast. It's really great opportunity for you to be able to watch some of your uh, fellow students and swimmers from your schools uh, participate at this excellent level of swimming. Uh, with a little bit of luck, you might have uh, found that your teachers decided to put the swimming on this morning and throughout the day. Um, if you're being really good, doing all your work, teacher might uh, decide to allow you to watch a little more swimming as the day goes on. And won't that be wonderful? Um, I'm sure you would thank your teachers for that. And uh, what a way to start the day with a relay for the boys, 8 to 10 years, and Carmel East having some success there in Heat 1. Heat 2, Robertson, Pambula, Jerobombra, Barrel, Tarthra, Pleasant Heights, Jindabyne. I'm wrong, sorry mate. Yep. <laughs> Shannon, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, you go for that. No, no, don't tell anyone. Kuma North, also in this relay. Uh, See you, mate. It's a shallow air. That is a recommendation. The story started. We've also got Lindsay Park swimming middle of the pool, lane four, lucky lane four, um, also in this relay. So we are off and swimming.
right, we are in the middle of heat two of the boys' 8 to 10 years 200 metres freestyle relay. going out of lane 9, Jindabyne, lane 8, Pleasant Heights, Tartar, Barrel, Lindsay Park, Jerobomba, Pambula and Robertson. Robertson lineup, Harry Handley, Jack Fegans, Liam Chakuti, Henry Griggs, Pambula lineup, Harris Johnson, Julian Torpy, Aidan Ruth, Wilson Hendricks, Jerobomba, Owen Blair, Noah Kettles, Henry Nish, Burn Jajiria Humphreys, Lindsay Park, Connor McBain, Peter, uh, Dylan Perry, Tom O'Reilly, Ashton Brown, Aidan Lowe for Barrel, Mason Evans, Henry Griffiths, Tommy McCulloch, Tathra, Ari Ferguson, Oscar Otten, Sam Little, Jasper Umbach. We are in the business end of this event. And it is Lane 6, Tathra, that are forging to the front in Heat 2. For Pleasant Heights, we've got Swimming Dash. Barisco, Eamon Green, Felix Mitchell, Quill, Mozico, Gertz, Jinderbine, Billy Clem, Callum Snedden, Marshall Perosi, Boston Lewis. And Kuma North, Archie Lee, Ashton Smith, Charlie Redden and Drew Davis as the teams. Looks like Tathra, lane six, going into heat three. Heat three for the eight to ten years, 200 metres freestyle relay. All right, here we are, top of heat three. Goulburn West going out of lane two. Yes, going out of lane three. Unandera lane four. Berkeley lane five. Illawarra Road lane six. Sunshine. Sussex Inlet, lane seven. Barrydale, lane eight. And Goulburn East, lane nine. The lineups are as follows Goulburn West, James Bain, Tobin Fraser, Liam Tapper, Emmett Warner, Yass, Harry Scroop. Charlie Collins, Dimitri Crisp, Brax Dunley, Yunandera, Avi Damir, Cohen Oliver, Leo Damir, James Pudney, Berkeley, Dio Pratt, Jacob Midgley, Braxton Ferrero, Mitchell Gibson, Illawarra Road, Ben Davies Cook, Alakai Brandon, Alexander Economos, Phoenix Wilson, Sussex Inlet, Thomas Shin, Axel Turner, James Palmer, Jackson Palmer, Berrydale, DJ McLean, Jackson Jarrett, Cohen Hall, Lake and Holiday, Goulburn East, Harry McIntosh, Finn Edmonds, Hugo Goodfellow, Toby Maberly. We are at just past the halfway point. We are 110 metres into this heat three of the eight to ten years boys. 4x50 metre relay. We have lane four, Unandera taking it away at this point. They have a five metre lead over Illawarra Road. Illaru Road, my apologies.
So uh, my apologies if I uh, mispronounce uh, one of your school names early on in the event. I'm just getting my uh, knowledge of some of these excellent primary schools that exist in the in the region, and uh, hopefully as the day goes on, my pronunciation of some of those schools will be a little more smooth and clear. But at the moment, the business end of Heat 3, it is Lane 4, Unandera, just up the road. And their fourth swimmer is doing the business here, coming into the final 10 metres. Probably has a dozen or so strokes to do. But uh, Illaroo Road have not, uh, not let him get away. Made ground, actually, in that last 25 metres. But it will be for Heat 3, unofficial Unandera. Event two for the day. We're moving into uh, some individual events now. We've got the girls, 100 metres freestyle. Ella Burns, Pambula will go in lane one. Michaela Gladden will go in lane two. Lane three, Aif O'Keefe, Bungendor, four, Zani Freeman. Waniora. Lane five, Kiara Nixon, Coromel East. Lane six, Lila Wagner, Coldale. Lane seven, Heidi Morris, Waniora. Lane eight, Kendall Payne. Lane nine, Evie Lomka. Carmel East. All right, we've got uh, there in lane eight, that was Kendall Payne, and uh, she was from Gerringong. We're coming into event three, 100 metres freestyle, boys. Only one heat here. Harrison Jenkins, lane one, Austin Mir. Luke Forrester, Aladala, lane two. Kobe Everett, Eden. Lane three from Ulladulla in lane four, Byron Ritchie. Lane five, Bo Thompson. Jarvis Nixon, lane six, Coromel East. Tommy Darragh, Gerringong, lane seven. Tyler Morgan, Russellvale, lane eight. Dylan Walsh is going in, year, in lane nine, Fig Tree Heights.
And we had Bo Thompson there from Narina Hills. Um, and that concludes event three, boys 100 metres freestyle. We've got our first multi-class event for the day. Event four, girls 100 metres. Freestyle, multi-class. Macy Wilson. Gunning. We've got an absolutely beautiful morning here at Dapto Pool. If you're not familiar with uh, the layout of the Illawarra, uh, Dapto sits uh, about 10 minutes south if you're driving from uh, Wollongong and at the base of the escarpment. Uh, within touching distance of the coast, so it's uh, beautifully located if you're the sort of person that likes to uh, head down for a swim, I guess, in the afternoons. And here we are at Depto this morning. And we're very fortunate because we've got event number four. It's our first multi-class event of the day. And we will have Macy Wilson from Gunning. Hope you're tuning in from Gunning. If you are watching from Gunning, give us a big cheer. Give us a big uh, hello. We might be able to hear you down here. Gunning is up on the Southern Tablelands. Beautiful town uh, with a rich history in agriculture. And we have Macy Wilson who will now swim and she will attempt to post a time that will qualify her for the state championships. She's under the starters and referees orders and she is away. And she's uh, lapping quite nicely. Beautiful rhythm. She has the pool to herself for what is basically a time trial. All of these events are uh, predominantly time trials. And she has the pool completely to herself. Some turbulence in Macy's lane generated by herself but uh, the rest of the pool is looking beautiful like a pond for her this morning so uh, what a nice uh, experience for her to be lapping down the pool she'll head towards the northern end come into the 50 meter turn she has 10 meters to swim there's a little shade there but she won't get to enjoy it for very long she'll take half a dozen strokes to get into the wall now She'll complete the turn. And around she goes. She will head back now. She is heading for the finish. Her stroke looks strong. Uh, and she's full of swimming in this nice early event for the day. We've got a long program today. 
We know that many students will be competing in several events throughout the day and, uh, and fatigue probably comes into it in that second half of the day. Macy's going well here. She's under 25 metres to swim now and she has the finish line in her sight. She is completing a time trial over 100 metres of freestyle uh, in our first multi-class event for the day. It is event number four. If you're watching on the live stream this morning, you might be watching back in your school, you might be watching at the table at home, you might be enjoying a cup of tea, you could be a fellow student, you could be a parent or a supporter. Uh, really hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Thanks for tuning in and you're going to get to see some great swimming today. Macy Wilson will make her way into the final five metres. And in she comes. She should receive the applause of the crowd, and she does. And that is a swim that has been well done. She'll make her way from the pool. Event number five. Boys, 100 metres freestyle, multi-class. Same arrangements here. Time trial. Attempting to post times that will qualify them for the state championships. Caleb Nichols, Ferry Meadow, lane five. Xavier Wilson, lane six, Shell Cove are about to go at it over 100 metres. Best of luck to them. All right, we are in the business end of event five here. Boys 100 metres freestyle multi-class. It is Caleb Nichols coming in to set the faster time here. He's from Ferry Meadow. Xavier Wilson will follow him in now from Shell Cove in lane six. We're talking about posting times that will qualify students for state championships state championships for primary school students uh, on the 11th and 12th of april they'll be at olympic park event six heat one girls eight to ten years 50 meters breaststroke we've got the officials now you'll see them walking past your camera they are making their way towards the northern end of the pool. They're going to really enjoy that because they've been sitting facing to the north and taking the morning sun, which is blazing in. Heat one, Clara Ward, Lindsay Park, Maeve Rimmer, Jamboree, Heidi Wallach, Coromel East, Logan Sedgwick, Winuna. Olivia Kirk, Jamboree, Lala Bramley, 
Barry Dow. Barry, sorry. Isla O'Keefe. Bungendor. Morris. Penelope Morris, I think this will be. Waniora. Quinn Lange. Jerobombra. Line 9. They're away. 50 metres. Freestyle. make our observations of the finish to these events um, and you know to the naked eye we can uh, interpret the the results our cameras positioned at the 25 meter mark uh, but of course the finishing positions are finally determined by the officials heat two Evie Sonic Shell Cove, Lane 1. Lane 2, Grace, Dundas, Ulladulla. Lane 3, Sophie Stackhouse, Oak Flats. Lane 4, Florence McColl, Yes. Lane 5, Mabel, Stepanovsky, Kiraville. Lane 6, Kennedy Kelly, Cabago. Lane 7, Shelby, Candy, Berg, Barrel. Lane 8, Piper Bell, Balgowney. And Lane 9, Freya Swindles, Unandera. They make their way down the pool. It's one lap. They're heading from south to north. They will make their way up into the shaded section of the pool. And for the first time in the morning, the officials are facing the southern end, which is a relief for them. It's, uh, the sun is at their back, which has got to be helping. Timekeepers step to the edge of the pool, ready to receive the girls. And they are in. Possibly Florence McColl, but uh, down to the officials. Heat three, preparing... Lane one, Ava Hart, Jared Bombra. Lane two, Khaleesi, Anuma, Primby. Lane three, Kate Howes, Ulladulla. Lane four, Elani, Van der Mullen, Browley. Lane five, Mackenzie Price, Goulburn East. Lane six, Becky Clues, Biggervale. Lane seven, Poppy Wrightson, Dapton. Depto. Lane 8, Eden Ring, Illaru Road. And Lane 9, Bronte Tinkler, Vincentia. We've had a swimmer go in early there. And we're discussing this at the secondary championships. Occasionally there'll be a, a noise in the crowd or something that... Um, triggers a response from the swimmer on the blocks particularly with such a large crowd and the officials will make a decision as to whether it is the responsibility of the swimmer that has caused the error or an outside factor and on a lot of occasions at these outdoor venues the officials will reinstate the swimmer and allow them to swim we are making our way down the pool in event six it is heat three. Girls, 50 metres, breaststroke. And we've got Bronte Tinkler way out wide in lane nine from Vincentia. Um, you often see a lot of the uh, head of the race coming from the middle lanes because of the seedings of the competitors. But Bronte Tinkler's having nothing to do with that. She's decided to go at it from lane nine. She does have some competition across the pool. Alani van der Mullen and Khaleesi Anuma also in the running there for top three finish. 
in the heat. Heat four. Millie McCritchie, lane two, Jindabyne. So it's Millie McCritchie, lane two, Jindabyne. Lane three, Mia Merson, Tarara, Beth Thomas, lane four, Exeter, from up on the Tablelands. Also from Tablelands, from Yass, Erin Deary is going in lane five. Molly Chasling is in lane six. Port Kembler, lane seven. Amelia Gundry, Tarago. And in lane eight, Olivia Shouten. Kuma North. Girls are well underway. 15 metres to swim. Looks like Molly Chasling out of Port Kembla uh, is hauling the mail here as they make their way into the final five metres of Heat 4. Girls, 50 metres breaststroke. Eight to ten years. We're moving into the boys. Now, event seven, 50 metres breaststroke. Again, we will have four heats. Byron Lomke, lane one, Coromel East. Ethan Zhang, Wollongong. In lane three, Dylan Kerr, Coromel East. Lane four, Hugo Tesonovic, Tarara. Frankie Tesevsky will swim in lane five. He's from Shell Harbour. In lane six, Lucas Ryan, Farber Heights. Lane seven, Lucas Ellison, Lake South. Lake 8, George Barnett, Lindsay Park. Lane 9, Brodie Moore, Albion Park. Heat two, lane one, Mason Blundell, Gugong. Lane two, Braxton Ferraro, Berkeley. Lane three, Jack Jarvis, Albion Park. Lane four, Arlo Mitchell, Ulladulla. Lane five, Tom O'Reilly, Lindsay Park. Lane six, Flinder Black, Rumour. Lane seven, Alexander Economos. Illaroo Road, Lane 8, Dio Pratt, Berkeley. And Taylor Bartlett will swim in Lane 9 from Milton. 
That is the lineup for Heat 2. Boys, 8 to 10 years, 50 metres breaststroke. It is a complete lineup. Uh, my apologies. No, we are going without lane one. Nonetheless, it's a strong lineup of boys across the pool in Heat 2 to 50 metres breaststroke. So it's with the um, it's with the middle of the pool here at the moment. In heat two, Tom O'Reilly and Flinda Black. Looks like an unofficial result there. Tom O'Reilly, Lindsay Park might have done the better there. Um, great swim from all the boys. Heat three coming up. And indeed we have a full lineup. Owen Easy. Lane one. Owen Easy, lane one, Sutton. Lane two, Sam Little, Tathra. Lane three, Archie Lee. Kuma North. Artie Cook. Kangaroo Valley, lane four. Leighton Johansson, lane six, Shell Cove. Cowan Hall. Berrydale, lane seven. Lane eight, Eddie Parnell, Camberwarra. Lane nine, Lim Rowley. Liam Rowley, Wollumley, lane nine. Boys make their way down the pool. They're at the 25 metre mark. Uh, it's a, it's anyone's at the moment. Uh, they are nicely grouped as they head into the final 15 metres. So Liam Rowley from Wollumla, lane nine. And we're now looking at Heat 4, 50 metres freestyle. Lane 2, Eli Lincoln, Goulburn North. Lane 3, Drew Davis, Kuma North. Tommaso Capecci, Lane 4, Barrel. Kurt Lindsay will swim in Lane 5, Quinbian. Lane 6, Hugo Goodfellow, Goulburn East. Lane 7, Elvis Sell, Barrel. Lane 8, Laken Holiday, Berrydale. Boys are set to go in the final heat of the 50 metres breaststroke.
All right. Uh, all close finishes here. Once again, middle of the pool. Possibly Thomas Okapichi, but uh, too close to call from 25 metres away. So it's down to the judges. Event eight now is on camera. And we have the 11-year-old girls, 50 metres breaststroke. Heat one, the four heats. Sienna Penn, Kuma, lane one. Lane two, Addie Bateman, Bigavale. Lane three, Ella Burns, Pambula. Lane four, Sophia Dragovich, Shell Harbour. Sage Lynch, Waniara. Lane five. Dora Tan, Wollongong, lane six. Remember all his names? Good Lord. Good luck with that. So it is Sage Lynch, Waniora, Dora Tan, Lane 6, Wollongong, Riley Gaffer, Gugong, Isla Sims, Shell Harbour, and Jessica McDonald swimming Lane 9 for Kayama in Heat 1. Heat 2. Avalon Canosa, Lane 1. Lane two, Zali Smart, Sunshine Bay. Lane three, Gemma Carpenter, Sussex Inlet. Lane four, Lucia Federici, Berry. Lane five, Annabelle Ward, Lindsay Park. Lane six, Ella Ward, Ella Dulla. Lane seven, Tatum Sky, Kuma North. Lane eight, Indy O'Brien. Windang. Lane nine, Audrey Noble, Browley. The girls are underway in heat two as they push their way up to the 25 metre mark. Uh, the pace is willing and no standout here at the moment. Very hard to make that impression in the first 25 metres. But uh, let's see how they feel in this second half of the event. They will push up now with 15 metres to swim. It looks like possibly Annabelle Ward, Lindsay Park, lane five, maybe. Might have done enough there. Heat three coming up. Tuila Teofilo. Lane one from Yass. Lane two, Pippa McMurtry, Port Kembla. Lane three, Sienna Stoddart, Sanctuary Point. Ava Ross Kelly, lane four. Vincentia, lane five. Halle Davis, Wanuna. Olivia Bianchi, lane six. Emily Rolf, Balgowney, lane seven. Ivy Fay, lane eight. Bundanoon. Lane nine, Pippa Bassnet, gunning.
Uh, heat two, uh, sorry, heat four. Lane two, Ellie Grant, Wallen Dilly from Cherubombra, Eloise Williams in lane three. Ailey Sen, Unandera, lane four. Lane five, Neve Beatty, Barrel. Lane six, Leticia Rodriguez. Lane seven, Sophie Mole, Sutton. Lane eight, Alinta Warner, Goulburn West. Okay, we are with Event 9, Levi Freem, Lane 1, Louis Moran, Lane 2, Koa Lulia, Lane 3, Timofey Pan, Lane 4, Lane 5, Johan Schuster, Lane 6, Josh Grieve, Joshua Grieve, Lane 7, Harley Schulz, Lane 8, Cruz Dunley, Lane 9, Axel Grimsey. We are in event nine now, heat two. Lane one, Archie Halliday. Lane two, Harry Torpy. He's from Pambula. Lane three, Tyler Bailey. Wollongong East. Lane four, Lane Bobbin, Tathra. Lane five, Bob Woods, Winuna. Lane six, Joseph Pervenoglu, Moss Vale. Lane seven, Kai Miller. Lane eight, Zane Everett. Lane nine, Hugh Clark, Victory Heights. Got heat three about to go. Jay Scanlon, lane one, Bungendor, lane two, Benko O'Neill, Milton, lane three, Eric Murtag, Herlegy, Jindabyne, lane four, Kai Pym, Milton, lane five, Joshua Onions, Oak Flats, lane six, Clayton Evans, Illaru Road. Lane 7, Damon Rose, Queanbeyan. 
Lane 8, Lawson Hughes, Jindabyne. And lane 9, Arthur Goodridge, Kiama. We have a swimmer that has uh, gone in early, has been spoken to. Obviously a little glitch with uh, some of the equipment or the procedure there. He's been reinstated. We're good to go in heat three of event nine. The 11-year-old boys, 50 metres breaststroke. Heat three, the boys make their way down the pool. A lot of pretty vigorous spectating on the eastern side of the pool. Obviously, someone has a connection with uh, one of the swimmers in this event. At, uh, this will be lane four, Kai, Pim, Milton. Coming into heat four of oh, four heats for the 11-year-old boys, 50 metres breaststroke. Lane two, Isaac O'Malley, Mittagong. Lane three, Harry Pearson, Goulburn West. Lane four, Riley Getman. Lane five, Felix Poole. I'll just try and get them before the start. Lane six, JN Dahl. Lane seven, Kai Polar. And lane eight, Jet Waters. <laughs> this is the concluding heat for event nine. The boys, 11 year old, 50 metres breaststroke. It is lane five, Felix Poole leading them down the course in heat four. <laughs> Moving right along here. And we are one hour into the program now. Um, we are at event 10. And we're looking at the girls, 12 to 13 years, 50 metres breaststroke competitors in what will be four heats, which are basically timed finals. Heat one. Talia Jamison, lane one. <laughs> lane two, Adele Gray. Lane four, Zani Freeman. Lane five, Lila Wagner. Lane six, Kiara Nixon. Lane seven, Lily Burns. Lane eight, Grace Thornton. Lane nine, Ophi O'Keefe. Girls make their way down to the finish in heat one. 11, 12 to 13 years. Looked like, from a distance, Kiara Nixon, Coromel East. Heat two coming up. Lane one. Eleni Fickers, Mount Usley. Lane two, Victoria Capici, Barrel. Lane three, Kira Haney, 
Eden, Lane 5, Chia, Thomas, Hughes, Penr Penrose. Lane 6, Lilu Story, Jindabon. Lane 7, Amali Frost, Jerengong. Lane 8, Caitlin Titmarsh, Jerengong. Jera Bombra. And lane nine, Kendall Payne, Jerengong. Girls are halfway into the course for the 50 metres breaststroke. And it is Leela Wagner. Look like Lila Wagner, lane five, Coromel, uh, my uh, apologies, Coldale. Heat two. <laughs> my apologies. That would have been uh, Gia Thomas Hughes, lane five. We're going into heat three now. Michaela Gladden, Port Kembla, Lane 1. Lane 2, Alba, Vandermeulen, Browley. Lane 3, Anna Markovitz, Aladulla. Lane 4, Willow, McMullen, Goulburn East. Lane 5, Marley Kelly, Shell Harbour. Lane 6, Emily Palmer, Yunundera. Lane 7, Natalie Bloxham, Port Kembla. Lane 8, Annabelle Basnet, Gunning. And in lane 9, Lucy Manwaring, Jerobombra. Lane 4, hauling the mail here, Willow McMullen, Goulburn East. If you're watching this morning from school, good morning and welcome to the championships. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Uh, you might be enjoying a little bit of a rest from uh, your schoolwork while you take in some swimming at the South Coast Championships wherever you're watching from we hope you're enjoying it and we certainly have a beautiful day for it here in Depto a reminder going across the public address system however that the punters and the participants need to be very conscious of sun protection because the sun is beaming down heat four Lane two, Isabel Griffiths, Yass. Lane three, Bonnie Sexton, Vincentia. Lane four, Mackenzie Cohen, Shell Harbour. Lane five, Bethany Lukes, Camber Warren. Lane six, Lena, Flora, Quirk, Milton. Lane seven, Emerson, Cavanaugh, Fig Tree. And lane eight, Claire Edwards, Goulburn East. The girls are well and truly into heat four. They've covered half the pool, and this will conclude the fourth heat, final heat for event 10, girls 12 to 13 years, 50 metres breaststroke. Close one there for the judges. Heading up to year 11, event 11, <laughs> event 11, boys 12 to 13 years, 50 metres, breaststroke. Heat one, once again, four heats. Henry Matiz, Henry Matiz, lane one, Jerengong, Taj Hubbard, is in lane two, Aladulla. Lane three, Wynn, Moller, Shell Harbour. Lane four, Luke Forrester, also Aladulla. Lane five, Tyler Morgan, Russellvale. Lane six, Jarvis Nixon, Coromel East. Lane seven, Will Gibson, Cooma North. Lane eight, Beckham, Lulia. Windang. And lane nine, Lewis Jackson Want, Coromel East.
All right, we are early stages of the primary schools championships here at Depto. Uh, the weather's warming up, and we are into event 11, which is the boys 12 to 13 years, 50 metres breaststroke. We're going with heat two. Lane one, John Kettner's Wallandilly. Lane two, Bo Thompson. Lane three, Dylan Walsh, Fig Tree Heights. Lane four, Natek Clues, Bigavale. Lane five, Owen Oswald, Minamura. Lane six, Finn Jamison, Tarara. Lane seven, Max Polhill, Fig Tree Heights. L Lane eight, Essia, I see Harris, Berry. Hope I got that right. Lane nine, Charles Niche, Cherubombra. Going with Heat Three now. Excellent work there from the boys in Heat Two. We'll turn our attention to Heat Three. Caster, Troy Caster, Barrel, Harley Muller, Lane Two, Barrel, Ty Crisco is in Lane Three, Marimbula. In lane four, Leo Hambly, Sanctuary Point. Lane five, Samuel Taylor, Shell Cove. Lane six, Jake Lawton, Gunning. Lane seven, Nick Slocum, Cherubombra. Lane eight, Kean Park. Illaroo Road and Lane 9, Oliver Lockley, Quinbian. We are at the bottom half of Event 11. Heat 3 in the water with a fourth heat to come behind them. Heat four. 12 to 13 years, boys breaststroke. Lane two, Tally Cross, Port Kembla. Lane three, Lake and Kelly, Hayden Park. Lane four, Gilbert K, Kuma. Lane five, Jack Curry, Goulburn East. Lane six, Loki Smart, Milton. Lane seven, Trey Duven, Yass. Lane 8, Drake Ryan. And Lake and Kelly and Drake Ryan from Hayes Park Primary School in Heat 4.
We have a multi-class event now. We've uh, skipped forward now to events 14 and 15. They are combined events into one. Both multi-class. We have the girls and boys 11 to 13 years, 50 metres breaststroke. On the eastern side, on the eastern side of the pool, Isla Davies and Macy Wilson. Isla from Exeter, Macy from Gunning. My apologies on the eastern side of the pool, Caleb Nichols, Xavier Wilson. On the western side of the pool, Isla Davies, Macy Wilson. So we've just had the conclusion of the combined 14 event, 14 and 15, multi-class, 50 metres breaststroke. My sincere apologies. The pronouncement of the name is Isla Davies from Exeter. Uh, so congratulations to Isla Davies and Macy Wilson for the girls completing 50 metres breaststroke and Caleb Nichols and Xavier Wilson for the boys.
We have a slight break in the pool because um, we are getting organised for some freestyle relays. Always exciting, great to watch. Excellent swimming from students in uh, the breaststroke section of the program. Um, my apologies if I've uh, mispronounced the name or a school somewhere amongst that. I am uh, attempting to get my, uh, my, my head around the, uh, the great collection of uh, primary schools. Um, I tend to be a bit of a high school, more of a high school specialist as far as the abbreviations of the schools and the names go. But um, please accept my apologies if uh, I'm not quite... Uh, on the money with that yet but I will endeavour to improve as the day and as the years go on um, we are heading into the girls 8 to 10 years 4 by 50 metres freestyle relays what a lot of excitement this brings to any carnival a relay and as with the secondary carnival they uh, have the relays scattered throughout the program. We've got Heat 1, Oak Flats, Lane 1. I'll just wait for the start. Talambar, Lane 2. Balgowney, Lane 3. Lane 2, Talambar. Lane 3, Balgowney. Lane 4, Milton. Lane 5, Wanuna. Lane 6, Pleasant Heights. Lane 7, Jerobombra. Lane 8, Waneora. Lane 9, Illaroo Road. They are away and swimming in Heat 1. Makeups of the teams, Ella Onions, Oak Flats, also Georgia Blair, Sophie Stackhouse, Alice Miller, Tullambar, Malia Geraitz, Lily Webster, Addison Boyd, Harper Upward, Balgowney, Sophie Green, Summer Webb, Piper Bell, Sophie Capetta, Milton, Everly Morgan, Sophia Sakato, Heidi Turak, Poppy Bright, Wanuna, Imogen Van Ackles, Audrey Strange, Frankie Fisher, Logan Sedgwick. We are at the halfway point. They will change over. And it is lane five that appears to have the lead. Wanuna at the halfway mark. The Pleasant Heights team, Indiana Priest, Macy Jones, Emily Garavong, Mia Bartlett, Jera Bombra, Ashley Armstrong, Zoe Carapanos. Quinn, Lange, Charlie Falson, Wanuora, Aria Freeman, Danica Hatton, Penelope Morris, and Olive Collins, Illaru Road, Tyne Barrett, Aluka Matha, Eden Ring, and Kindly McGregor as they make their way to the changeover and it is now serious competition has come from Pleasant Heights but it is still Wanuna hanging on uh, and probably extending the lead if, uh, her action looks strong and efficient and she powers her way into the final 15 metres she looks strong in the yellow cap and she will bring her team in. Lane five, heat one, Wanuna. Teams for heat two. As our 
race concludes in heat one. I've got a very interesting interview coming up in a little while with uh, some people that have a significant amount to do with carnival organisation, some students, but I'll have that coming up in a moment. Let's introduce the teams to heat two. First up, though, lane one, Eden, lane two, Barrel, lane three, Jindabyne, lane four, Bungandor, lane five, Vincentia, lane six, Berry, lane seven, Yass, lane eight, Gunning, and lane nine will be Shell Cove. If you're watching from the classroom, hope you enjoy this one. All right, we're going to come back to the relay in a moment and get the, uh, we'll certainly get the relay in screen. But we've got uh, a couple of the girls here from Dapto High School. Is that correct, girls? Welcome to the carnival. You were here yesterday, yeah? yeah. All right. And you've been heavily involved in the uh, organisation of cuisine and food to supply the officials. Is that right? Can you tell us a little bit about some of the, uh, first of all, what's your name? Sophie Young. Sophie and uh, Sophie, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the, the food that you've, uh, the kids from DAPTA have been able to put forward. Um, yesterday we created uh, different types of quiches and wraps. And for morning tea we had different types of muffins and some fruit and some brownies and banana bread. And yeah, I'll tell you what, I was uh, the very happy recipient of a lot of that uh, food that you put forward yesterday. And I cannot get away from, um, I've only just managed to eat enough Eclipse mint lollies to deal with the. I think there was garlic in that halloumi wrap, was there not? It was serious and uh, absolutely lovely. Um, your name is, sorry? Lily. Lily, um, how much work, how much time goes into the preparation of all this? Quite a lot. Can you, can you give us some hours? Oh, about four or five. All right, you start early in the morning and then the results are shown later in the day, yeah? Um, all right, great. So uh, you've got some more food for us today, obviously. We want to say thank you very much for uh, all of your work. Is there anyone back at school that you would like to thank or helps you with all of this that you, maybe we should mention their names as well? Mr. Pfeffer and Miss Layton. All right, they're your teachers that, uh, that drive all of this and you, and you provide all the labour and the, and, the, and the finishing touches. Great work, girls. Thanks so much. Please pass on our thanks to everyone back at school. And I'm looking forward to more of it today. It should be fantastic. Thank you so much. You. Cheers. Righto, we're back to the relay. Wasn't it great to talk to the girls from Dapdale High School who are part of the great collection of people that uh, helped to make an event like this operate and run. We are in heat two. And it is... Lane five. It looks like it is Vincentia. Just away in the middle of the pool in lane five. But there is some serious interest in lane one. It is Eden in lane one who are uh, exerting a little pressure here. And let's have a look at lane nine. Shell Cove certainly making... Vincentia work for it. Uh, this is going to be a very, very interesting finish. And I would say the judges and officials are going to be uh, called into action here. I'm saying lane one might have done the work there. A great second half. Eden. What a performance. Now, our apologies for sort of uh, cutting away from the relay there for a second, but we did manage to get most of it, hopefully. Um, great to talk to the girls from the kitchens of Dapdale High School. And um, very, very modest they were also, suggesting that they had a, a group of individuals behind them that also helped to produce the excellent um, food that uh, sustains the officials and help us throughout the day.
If you're watching from DAPTO, our great thanks for all of that uh, wonderful work that goes in there. Heat three coming up. Lane two, Cooma. Lane three, Mittagong. Lane four, Port Kembla. Lane five, Browley. Lane six, DAPTO. Lane seven, Tarthra. Lane eight, Goulburn East. And right beside them, lane nine, Goulburn West. The makeups, Kuma, Anna Payne, Talia, Zeno Christou, Rosie Turnbull, Bella Corvat, lane three, Mittagong, Indy Allen, Alice Kerr, Elva Moody, Ayla Pacey, Port Kembler, Molly Chasling, Alira Pease. Ellie, Lalia, Lala, Liko, Liku. Hope I got that right. Kids in the classroom will be telling me whether I have or I haven't. Lane five, Browley, Alani, Vandermeulen, Charlotte Campbell, Olivia Carter, Sophia, Bereza, Lane six, Dapto, Adele. Dragarski, Ella Duff, Grace Beaumont, Isabel Healy, Tarthra, Lane 7, Tay, Ray, Steele, O'Sullivan, Harper, Cole, Anika, Van Gal, Ellen. Lane 8, Goulburn East as we come down to the halfway point of the relay. 100 metres to swim for most of them. Goulburn East, Sophia Zesavic. Violet, Harmer, Mackenzie, Price, Isla, Wilson, Goulburn West, Vivian, Zyla, Irene, McDonald, Scarlett, Corcoran and Andy Rousel. We are in. We are in the final 75 metres of heat three of the girls' eight to ten years four by 50 metre relay, and it is lane five. Browley leading it out. They will lead them into the turn. She will touch and hand over to the final swimmer, and. Uh, Final swimmer is showing serious interest in making a very good start and impression in this first 25 metres. High action. Such a high arm action. Wouldn't be surprised if there was a little bit of surf background in this, but could be wrong. Uh, but there is some serious interest here from Port... Uh, sorry, from... Dapto High School in lane six and they are finishing strongly. Young lady from Browley doing the job here. It's a very, very gutsy swim from swimming out front and she has held them off. What a tremendous swim from all of the girls.
event 17. This is the 4 by 50 metre Earl McGee relay. I'm suggesting this is for smaller schools. Collector, lane four. Kangaloon, lane five. Glen Quarry, lane six. So here we are attempting to qualify for state championships in the Earl McGee Relay. The Earl McGee Relay is an open event for schools with an enrolment of not more than 25 students. And our schools here in event 17, Collector, Kangaloon and Glen Quarry. Now Collector down the Hume Highway heading towards the ACT. Kangaloon up in the uh, Southern Highlands and just down the road from Kangaloon is Glen Quarry. So both schools just to the east of Barrel. Beautiful locations. And they are all here for the Earl McGee Relay. Let's have a look at the makeup of the teams. Hope you're watching this morning, and if you're tuning in from Collector, Kangaloon, and Glen Quarry, good morning to uh, students and teachers and anybody else that's uh, collected around, gathered around to watch the Earl McGee relay. From Collector, Ava Granger, Logan Blacker. We should have in the water now, we think Marley Dunn. And to bring it home, William Carter. Kangaloon, Rowan. Vuk Vukau, William Major, Angelo Vukau, and to bring it home, Lucy Schofield. And we have, it is Kangaloon leading it out at the moment. Glenn Quarry in lane six, Isaac Webb, Sebastian Walsh, Lumi Pollard and Oliver Walsh. But it is, it appears to be Lucy Schofield, lane five, Kangaloon, leading at home, looks strong. And if you're watching on the screen, you must be enjoying this as she swings her way down into the wall. A beautiful swim. She brings it home for the team which will most likely mean they will be selected to contest the state championships. And we have the team from Collector. They are about to hand over. The handover is made and our final swimmer is on the way from Collector. If our program is correct, it is uh, correct. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, it is William Carter. 
And doesn't he look strong? He's a good finishing swimmer. He'll push down into the final 25 metres here. And that should complete the swim for Collector. Kangaloon first in Collector. The final 10 metres. Congratulations to all of the swimmers in those teams. Got another uh, commemorative relay here, and another um, another relay, a memorial relay, in the sense that um, it is dedicated to small schools. But the uh, to qualify for this relay, the Peter Dobson relay, it is uh, to allow students from schools with a total school enrolment of more than 25 students, but not exceeding 54. The combination of uh, boys and girls in the team is to be decided by the individual school, but all the children must be enrolled in the same school. Here we are in the Peter Dobson relay. Tarago, lane three. Delegate, lane five. Talong, lane six. Burrowang, lane seven. Let's just get a recap on the schools here in the Peter Dobson relay. Tarago, lane three. Central, Tilba, lane four. Delegate, lane five. Talong, lane six. Burrowang, lane seven. Let's have a look at Tarago. Jack Gundry, Elijah Cummings, Jack Hogan, Amelia Gundry, Central, Tilba, Ryder Howes, Riley Bolton, Billy Hordpenko, Ethan Harvey, Delegate, Lola, Tonneson, Lily Kading, Amelia Jeffries, Georgina Jeffries. We're coming down to the wall here. We've got lane four and lane five going at it. Central Tilba have the lead. But uh, here comes, I think, Georgina Jeffries from Delegate, who's having something to say about this. Talong, Tristan Shearer, Leonardo Diggle, Summer Ahern, Wal Dingle, and Burrowangs make up. Look at this finish, though. They're going to hold them off. That's a really close finish. That's uh, judges are going to earn their money. The Burrowang team coming down now in lane seven. Evelyn Duffy, Evelyn Wilson, Aki Munro and Gabby Dudley is doing the work at the moment. Pushing into the wall now, lane six. Talong should be Dash, Dingle, Wall. 
and to complete the Peter Dobson relay should be Gabby Dudley we think from Burrowang up on the Southern Tableland Southern Highlands Tarago finishing now 10 metres to swim we think that is Amelia Gundry if you're watching in your school we hope you have enjoyed uh, a couple of the qualifying events there for state for the smaller schools the Earl McGee relay and the Peter Dobson relay we have uh, we're going to swing back into some multi-class swimming in a moment with event 19 We're about to uh, move back into some multi-class swimming. The officials are just making their way to the northern end of the pool. I bet they're going to enjoy that. That's uh, a little shade made available to them down there as opposed to that sun beating in at them uh, from the north as they sit at the southern end. But they make their way down now, timekeepers, judges, etc., to the northern end of the pool. We've got the multi another multi-class event coming up. It is event 19. The girls, 10 and under, 50 metres backstroke, Storm, Sikasini, Kingi, from Lake South will be uh, swimming in lane five, and Ruby McLean from Wollongong East will be swimming in lane six. Multi-class events, the athletes, the swimmers, and athletes in track and field, it doesn't matter um, what sport this is associated with, but the athletes will um, have uh, competitive categories that they use for competition. So therefore, in swimming, for example, they will complete their event and then based on their classification that information is fed into the system and times are used to calculate the final result based on a comparison to I believe it is the world record so it's a, a complex system that aims to achieve uh, equality for performance in the multi-class. Um, so the, the actual performance in the pool or on the track for a different type of athlete um, is not necessarily the final result. It's a little bit like uh, if you want to compare it to something like uh, in track and field like decathlon where an athlete will complete an event but the raw score, say for example, if an athlete uh, runs 15 seconds for the 100 metres hurdles, uh, it, is it is used to calculate a score, a point score for that event and then that contributes to the final result. So it's, um, there's a bit of work to be done by not only the athletes but also the officials in terms of calculating final results for multi-class. 
You can see the athletes entering the water now. I believe we may have an amalgamated heat, set of heats. Charlie Manwaring will be in there. Macy Wilson is in there. Caleb Nichols. Xavier Wilson. Along with Storm, Sikasini Kingi and Ruby McLean. They make their way down the pool. Backstroke, multi-class. They are on their way. Now, because of the amalgamation the original lane draw, uh, according to the original program, may not may not apply. Uh, athletes have been allocated uh, different lanes. Multi-class, 50 metres, backstroke. It's a very demanding stroke. 50 metres. A number of these athletes have already completed uh, some events this morning. So fatigue probably not there at the moment. Isn't that easy for me to say sitting here on the poolside? It's probably a bit different for these guys and all of our swimmers today who are starting to move into the later part of the morning program. Audience enjoys uh, and supporters enjoy a lot of... Uh, events from poolside they particularly enjoy the multi-class events and uh there's usually an an excellent reception from the crowd at the conclusion of these events and the backstroke is no exception spectators show their appreciation Next event on the program is going to be most likely event 23. We are still in. Uh, we are still in event. The amalgamated events down to event 22 with the 50 metres backstroke.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are still uh, in the concluding stages of events uh, 19 through to 22. And the excellent news is that we have Ruby McLean doing exceptionally well in lane one with her backstroke. She has about 20 metres to swim. We're going to uh, stick with Ruby. And uh, you'll see her fellow competitors are waiting for her at the finishing end of the pool. She's getting a great reception from the crowd as she makes her way down the eastern side of the pool in lane one. And backstroking, she is doing a marvellous job of it, laying it back and uh, looking good as she makes her way now down into the final 15 metres. Crowd is very, very appreciative of Ruby's efforts, as they are of all the multi-class swimmers. We've got the multi-class swimmers waiting for Ruby, as I said, at the end of the pool. We've seen excellent sportsmanship uh, yesterday at the secondary championships and today in the primary schools. And um, it is particularly evident uh, right now, if you want a good example of excellent sportsmanship, You'll be able to see the, uh, her fellow athletes, Ruby's fellow athletes, waiting for her and encouraging her over the final 10 metres of her backstroke event. Ruby makes her way now down into the last 10 metres. Crowd's getting behind her, giving a great reception and uh, trying to lift her and give her that uh, little bit of extra motivation to get down to the finish. She's done an exceptionally good job. Five metres to swim. The arms are ticking over. Her action is good. She's laying it back. She will come down now into the final few metres. And the crowd is, I think, gearing up for a big reception. And there she goes. She makes the touch. There's the reception. Wow. There are some wonderful moments in sport, and that's one of them. Uh, beautiful effort by all of the multi-class athletes there and swimmers in the 50 metres of backstroke. Well done to the swimmers. I must congratulate also uh, the spectators and crowd on their wonderful encouragement during that event. They're all going to have a rest. We will now turn our attention to southern end of the pool where we have a start for event 23. Girls, 8 to 10 years, 50 metres, backstroke. Inspirational stuff from the multi-class athletes in the lead-in to event 23. Heat 1, Lily Webster. Lane 2, Annabelle Skelton. Lane 3, Maya Everett. Lane 4, Evie Sernig. Lane 5, Logan Sedgwick. Lane 6, Quinn Lange. Lane 7, Imogen Van Arkels. Lane 8, Hazel O'Keefe. And Lane 9, Eden Ring. She's from Illaroo Road. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Maybe you've got a swimmer from your school swimming in the backstroke. Here they go. Halfway down, heat one. Girls 8 to 10 years, 50 metres backstroke. And it's being led out by Logan Sedgwick from Wanuna. She is ticking it over, looking good, leaning it back. She comes down into the wall and unofficially it is Logan Sedgwick. Coming into heat two. They'll move quickly, uh, these events. 
with the backstroke. It's a pretty powerful, quick stroke. Heat to Kennedy Kelly in lane one. Olivia Romanis, you. Olivia Romanis in from Windang, lane two. Peony Pedral, Peony Pedral, lane three. Bungendor, lane four. Carly Alvero, lane five. Abigail Ketnis. Lane six, Sophie Stackhouse. Lane seven, Lila Licky Louis. Licky Licky, Lila Licky Licky. I hope I got that right. Port Kembla girl. Students in the classroom will yell at me if I haven't got it right. Um, year, uh, lane eight, Michaela. Harriman, Berkeley, Lane 9, Mabel Stepanovsky. She's from Kiraville. Girls in Heat 2 are well and truly underway. We have Lane 5, Abigail Ketnes, Wallen Dilly powering away here. Just holds the lead. Probably has a body length. Over Sophie Stackhouse. And that completes Heat 2. Heat 3 lining up. Heat 3. Lane 1, Everly Morgan. Lane 2, Georgia Lawrence. Lane 3, Kalen Burbage. Lane 4, Adele Dragaski. Lane 5, Camilla Sterling. Lane 7, Jamie Lee. Lane 8, Kate Howells. And Lane 9, Phoebe Lawrence. They are away. We're in heat three, and we've got that interesting situation where, yes, we've got lane six going nicely in the middle of the pool, but some of the outside lanes going well. And if we look across the lane to Georgia Lawrence, Sussex Inlet, she's also done particularly well. I think lane six, Camilla Sterling, Barrel, but... That's just uh, the commentator's view on the side of the pool. The officials will have a much uh, more detailed and clearer perspective on all of that. Heat four coming up in lane two. Alicia Ings, Wallen Dilly. Lane three, Florence McColl. Yes. Charlotte Horswell is swimming in lane four. She is from Eden. In lane five, Shelby, Candy, Berg, Barrel, Talia Smith, lane six, Ella Dulla, Talia Zena Christou is from Kuma. She is swimming in lane eight. And Aria Cook, Basasta from Yas, swimming lane eight. It's the final heat in the girls. 50 metres, backstroke, 8 to 10 years. Hope you've got a competitor in this if you're watching. Otherwise, let's just enjoy the race. Girls are on their marks. And they are away in the final heat of the 8 to 10 years girls, 50 metres, backstroke. Hard to see anyone uh, getting an advantage at the moment, although now as we make our way up to the 25-metre mark, 
We've got lane four and lane six. So we're talking about Charlotte Horswell and Talia Smith from Eden and Ulladulla, respectively. They are hauling the mail and they will drag the field into the final 15 metres. They still have some serious work to do. They have competition around them. Well, they will pull down into the wall and it may be, it just may be, Charlotte Horswell from Eden that has done slightly the better there. Officials will tidy all that up. We move to event 24 in a moment. We're going to see the boys, 8 to 10 years, 50 metres of backstroke. Boys are in the water. Event 24, Heat 1, Kobe Ellison, Lane 1, Drew Garvey, Lane 2, Lane 3, Liam Morali, Lane 4, Ethan Zhang, Lane 5, Lucas Ellison, Lane 6, Hugo Tesanovic, Lane 7, Dylan Kerr, Lane 8, Flinder Black, Lane 9, Braxton Ferrero. Take your pick from schools from anywhere from Lake South, Fig Tree Heights, Wollongong, Tarara, Coromel East all the way down to Berkeley. It's a great scattering from throughout the region as the boys in the 8 to 10 years age group make their way down the pool. Heat 1. Vigorous and enthusiastic support and spectating from the eastern side of the pool. They will push down in lanes 4 and 5. And uh, a bit of excitement there amongst the spectators. Four and five, Ethan Zhang, Lucas Ellison. Let's swing down now into heat two of this very interesting event. We've got eight to ten years boys. Heat two, backstroke. Lane one, Sam Little is from Tarthra. Ollie Ring, lane two, Gerringong from Queanbeyan, lane three, Hugh Goodacre, lane four, Lennox Cliff, Minamara, lane five, Aidan Rowland, Shell Harbour. Max Leeson is swimming in lane six, he's from Gundaroo. Jack Jarvis, Albion Park, lane seven, Arlo Mitchell, Ulladulla, lane eight, and from Wanuna is Reg Fisher. He will swim and he is swimming right now in lane nine. He's powering along very nicely in the yellow cap. But it's a scattering here, and we've got lane five just pushing to the front. Aidan Rollins, he is from Shell Harbour. It is lane four now. Lennox Cliff, Minamara pushing to the front. And he's got some company from our friend Reg Fisher from Wanuna. It's the green cap and the yellow cap, and Reg is doing it out wide in lane nine. That will pull them down into the wall. And most likely Lennox Cliff, unofficial. Heat three coming up. Lane one, Eddie Parnell. Lane two, Joshua Earl. Lane three, Dio Pratt. Lane four, Emlyn Hudson. Lane five, Phoenix Cartwright. Lane six, Lucas Ryan. Lane seven, Ethan Riley. Lane eight, Archie Watson. Lane nine, Sam Dennett. Boys are on their marks. And the starter sends them on their ways. It's a full lineup, a full complement of nine swimmers across the pool in heat three. And a pretty notable start here. Lane six has pushed out early. It's Lucas Ryan. He's from Farnborough Road. 
But in lane two, Joshua Earl has got the running. He's come down from Mossvale on the southern tablelands from the southern highlands. And he's liking the conditions in the Dapto pool. It is Joshua Earl, Mossvale. He's in lane two and they can't see him on the western side, but he's going very, very nicely. He's having a fine old time in lane two. He's just laying it back. Joshua Earl, bang. He's reaching for the wall. Did he get it? He seemed to be looking for the wall there and someone may have come over the top of him in the final stroke. Would be unlucky. Heat four coming up. Going into heat four. Event 24. Lane two, Ashton Smith. Lane three, Tobin Fraser. Lane four, Harry Scroop. Lane five, Kurt Lindsay. Lane six is Casey Allen. Lane seven, Thomas Shin, lane eight, George Nicholson. The boys are entering the water now. They are pulling up onto the block. And they're in the hands of the starter. As so he will call them to their marks now. And they push out from the wall. Good start from all of the competitors. And a notable big start from lane three, Tobin Fraser. He got a great start in the first 10 metres, but they're coming at him now in lane six, seven, and let's have a look here at lane eight. George Nicholson has pushed to the front. They can't see him on the eastern side. George Nicholson, lane eight. He's come up from Cooma North. And uh, the conditions and the training must be going very well down there because George has, I think, surprised them from lane eight. If you're watching from down Cooma Way, welcome to the broadcast. Hope you're having a nice time. Just got a feeling the temperature may be a little cooler down there this morning. But at Dapto, we're pushing into the mid-20s. with a water temperature of around 27 degrees. Event 25, 11 year old, 50 meters, backstroke for the girls. Lane one, Zali Fisher. Lane two, Lucia Federici. Lane three, Sofia Dragovic. Lane four, Tatum Sky. Lane five, Dora Tan. Lane six, Ella Burns. Lane seven, Riley Gaffer. Lane eight, Ina Markham. Lane nine, Stella Keane. It's lane five, pushing out here. Dora Tan, Wollongong, taking them into the last 10 metres and doing it uh, with some style as she bounces into the wall and hits the wall strongly just kept swimming until she felt it i think heat one heat two coming up 11-year-old girls, starter calls, the referee calls them to the water. Xylan Daguyan, lane one. Lila Lawrence, lane two. Emily Payne, lane three. Zali Smart, four. F lane five, Sage Lynch. Pippa McMurtry, lane six. Pippa Robards, lane seven. And Emily Rolfe, eight. Kit Oliveira, nine. They're powering down the pool. It's with Xylan Dagayan, lane one. Can you believe it? The athletes on the side of the pool have been doing the business in 
the recent heat. Now it's appearing a little more scattered as the pace is on. And powering to the front in the yellow cap is Pippa Robards, lane five. Pippa, I think it may be Sage Lynch who's come over the top there, lane five. Just go under. Just duck under. There you go. Heat three. Eileen McNamara will swim in lane one. She's from Sussex Inlet. Betsy Higson, I'll go through them quickly. Lane two, Paige Mayer. Lane three, Leticia Rodriguez, four. Scarlett Scary, five. Avalon Canosa, six. Rachel Nichols, lane seven. In lane eight, Sienna Stoddart, lane nine. Layla Burbage. She is from Camberwara. A complete lineup. The primary school kids tend to do this. They're not interested in staying away. They are all here to swim, and therefore we have uh, full complement in most races. This is anyone's at the moment between lane five, seven, and nine. And uh, I'll put in there lane three as well. Paige Mayer is interested. She's from the rumour. They are pushing up now, and it is lane five that will push to the front. Scarlet Scary from Berkeley. She'll take them into the wall handsomely. Bang. The hand hits the wall, almost a full stroke. Pretty impressive. We're in event 25, and we are... Two hours and more into the program this morning with a nine o'clock start. Alinta Warner will swim in lane two in heat four, Goulburn West. Tuila Teofilo, lane three. Clementine Sterling is in four. Macy Owen, Mount Terry, lane five. Lane six, Harriet Valili. She's from Mittagong, lane six. Claire Puckett, lane seven. Berrydale. Sophia Allen is in lane eight. It's with lane six, Harriet Valili. Bang, she goes into the wall. Full stroke, great finish. And she is quickly joined by Claire Pickett, who's got a good support crew on the side of the pool. And Clementine Sterling. Going to event 26, 11-year-old boys, 50 metres backstroke. They're ready. Referee will call them to the water in a moment. Lane one, Maddox Lawler. Lane two, Jake McKeon. Levi Freem is going in lane three. Jimmy Fisher, lane four. Harley Schultz, five. Hudson Summers, six. Josh Greaves, seven. Timofey Pan, eight. And Karen Hardwick is swimming in lane nine. He's from Coromel East. Full lineup. They're away. Uh, Harley Schultz just bangs it out there and, and asserts his authority on the event in the first 25 metres. That's an impressive start to put a metre and half a body length into the field within 25 metres. He's obviously feeling pretty good, but they're coming at him now. And Hudson Summers is uh, pulling up alongside him. He's going to make it a little bit of a an effort for both of them into the wall. Let's see. Yeah, he might have got that. I think he hang on. He hung on. Uh, Harley Schultz did the front running and managed to hold on by the looks. Heat two. Lane one, Jay Scanlon, Bungendorf. 
Zane Everett is in lane two. He's from Jerangong. Archer, Alcantara, lane three. Sutton from Mossvale. Joseph, Pervenoglu, lane four. From Shell Harbour, Johan Schuster, lane five. Lane six, Max Capetta, Balgowney, up on the hill. Lane seven, Cruz Dunley, Yass, Geordie Oliver, Unandera. Hayden Paul is swimming in lane nine. He's from Browley. Once again, interesting little spectacle if you're watching it on the screen as to who has got the better of the running in that first 25 metres because if they have, they have powered out in a very strong performance. It is just, just by, we're talking ahead. It is just Johan Schuster. But he is getting a little purchase on his backstroke now. He's pushing it down into the final five metres. And how's he going to finish? Hits the wall on a full stroke. He'd have to be happy with that. I think Johann Schuster... We make our way down in a moment to heat three. They just keep on coming. There's students uh, swimming really well this morning in the morning session. Lewis Essen is going to go in lane one. He's from Goulburn West. Jordan Hatcher, lane two. Lane three is Mitchell Holland. Lane four, Jake Kedwell. Mitchell Holland's come up from Arimbula. Jace Ferguson, Sussex Inlet, Archie Halliday, Tomarong, Lane 7, Fletcher Stone, Minamura. Up from Marimbula, Cade Cochran. He's Lane 8, Nicholas Whitehead. He's also come up, had a bit of a journey. He's from Jindabyne. He's going in Lane 9. Lane five, Jace Ferguson coming to the championships from Sussex Inlet. If you're watching from Sussex Inlet, good morning. Hope you're having a nice morning tea or sitting there in your classroom just soaking up some swimming. It's very, very nice here this morning. He goes in. Most likely Jace Ferguson. Heat four, 11-year-old boys, 50 back. All the way up from Kuma, Baxter Green will go in lane two. Oak Flats just down the road, Zane Stanton, lane three. Kai Miller, lane four. Jamie Smith, lane five. Felix Poole, lane six. Jet Waters. Berrydale, lane seven from Crookwell. Michael Smith is in lane eight. Lane five, just, but he's got some excellent company around him. Uh, we're talking lane six, seven, and eight. Lane five, Jamie Smith. He's from Barrel. Felix Poole is with him. Jet Waters, Michael Smith. How does he go? He brings it down into the wall. They're all pretty close. Senior girls, these girls will push it along. 
girls, 12 to 13 years, event 27. Ruby Kelly's going in lane one. She's from Cabago. Lane three, Ava Humphrey. Ophi O'Keefe, Bungendor, Lane 4. Kiara Nixon from Coromel East is swimming in Lane 5. From Coldale, Lila Wagner. Lila Wagner, Lane 6. Kendall Payne, Jeringong, Lane 7. And two girls from Port Kembla swimming beside each other in Lane 8 and 9. Michaela Gladden. And one of her schoolmates, Asha Geddes. Man, she's pushed this out. Kiara Nixon, Coromelis, lane five, has just blown that first half of the event away and held on. Lila Wagner has showed uh, some keen interest there, pretty close to her at the end. Great first heat. Heat two, Mia Gilday, lane one. Eloise Davies, lane two. Ivy Porter-Watson, lane three. In lane four, Talia Jamison, lane five. Adele Gray, Anna Markovitz, six. Miller Ward, seven. Bonita Lloyd-Jones from Browley, eight. And from Shell Harbour, Marley Kelly will swim in lane nine. They push out from the wall. And straight away, we've got Mila Ward from Kayama, who's taken it out pretty strongly. And she has company in lane five, Adele Gray, Oak Flats. And Bonita Lloyd-Jones from Browlee has now moved into her work in that middle 20 metres. And she is powering away, bouncing away. That's the sign of a uh, fair bit of strength and effort going in. Well, from a distance, it looks like Benita Lloyd-Jones, who did it nicely out in lane eight. Going into heat three. Victoria Capecci, lane one. Alicia Buckley, lane two. Ava Porteous, lane three. Delilah Solway, lane four. Going in lane five, Lilu Story, lane six. Lila During, lane seven. Lucinda Corby, lane eight. Caitlin Pierce. And from Goulburn East, Claire Edwards will swim in lane nine. Backstroke, 50 metres, senior girls, third heat. Let's see if anybody wants to put it to them in the first 20 metres, 25 metres here. And they certainly are. It's Lila Daring, Port Kembla. She has an arm length but now in lane seven Lucinda Corby is coming at her pushing out onto the edge of the lane and trying to find a way straight down the middle these two girls in lane six and seven are going at it they push down into the wall it's a close touch and it's a time for uh, once again the officials to make the decision there. We're going to heat four senior girls. The lineup is as follows. In lane two, Ayla Ellums. Yes. From just across the way, Gunning, Annabelle Bassnett, lane three, Grace Thornton, Kiraville, Lucy Wilkinson, Fig Tree Heights is going out of lane five. Bethany Lukes, six. Lydia Clark, lane seven. Gia Thomas Hughes, lane eight, and Isla Davies, nine. She's from Exeter. So we've got Isla and Gia from Exeter and Penrose, respectively. Girls from up in the Southern Tablelands. 
Beautiful little villages. We've got lane five hauling the mail here, Lucy Wilkinson from Fig Tree Heights, and she's putting it to them. She's taken it out strongly in the first 25 metres and basically says, well, see if you can hang on and catch me in this back half of the race. She's holding them at this stage. It is Lucy Wilkinson, Fig Tree Heights, lane five. She will come down into the wall, reach for it and get it probably on the full stroke. And she looks uh, very businesslike at the end of her heat. Okay, another group of big kids here, 12 to 13 year olds, senior boys. Beckham, Lulia, lane one in heat one. Windang, Harry Davies, lane two. Jarvis Nixon, lane three. Owen Oswald, lane four. Bo Thompson, lane five. Byron Ritchie, lane six. He's from Ulladulla. Two boys from Fig Tree Heights beside each other. Max Polhill, Dylan Walsh. And Tyler Morgan, lane nine. Paul Hill and Walsh swimming, lane seven and eight, both from Fig Tree Heights. Lane five, he's pushed it right out. Bo Thompson, he's got nearly a body length on them after 25 metres. That's telling you something. That's, he's put in some serious work in the first 20 metres. Bo Thompson. Nice work. We're going to swing our attention down to the starting end of the pool. They're standing in bright sunshine now. It's quite warm. There's a little northeasterly breeze just cooling it down a touch for us. But there's still plenty of heat in the day. And we have heat two, Bowie Gray, lane one. They're going to swim 50 metres here, backstroke. Leo Hambly, two. Josh Walker, three. No Tech Clues, lane four. Harrison Jenkins, five. Tommy Darrock, six. Jake Lawton, lane seven. Trey Duvin, eight. Sam Little, lane nine. They are underway. Lane four. Not much in it, though. Lane four is pushed out here. It is Natek Clues, Bigger Vale. He's holding them and standing up to uh, the pressure that uh, lane three and four, lane three and five are applying to him. It's a great swim because he's having to do it in pretty good company. It's a close touch. It's going to come down to officials. Natek Clues, Harrison Jenkins. Josh Walker was on the other side, not quite sure there. Heat three, senior boys, Mitchell Adams, Kuma, lane one, Jake Burden, lane two, Flynn Kelly, three, Finn Jamison, four, Win Moller five, Harley Moller six, Brody Tudor seven, Kobe Everett lane eight, Hugo Dow lane nine, Hugo's from Mossvale, right beside him, Kobe Everett, he's from all the way down in Eden. Boys have travelled a little way to get here. Here we go, lane seven, Brody Tudor. He's from Oak Flats. And he's from just down the road. Obviously likes the conditions in the pool this morning. Adapter, Brody Tudor, Oak Flats. I think he's going to be able to, he may have enough here to hold on. They will come at him in the middle lanes, I think, but he's done the job. Yep. Nice work, unofficial. Brody Tudor. Fourth and final heat, senior boys.
Dylan Graham will go in lane two. He sits in the bright sunshine behind his lane. Luke Midgley, lane three. Angus Donnelly, lane four. Chase Connor, Unandera, lane five. Kuma North, Will Haylock, lane six. John Ketnis, Wallandilly, lane seven. And Jack Gundry, lane eight from Taraga. Away, Heat 4, Senior Boys, Backstroke. It's been some pretty impressive work going on in the previous heats. Lane 3. Goodness me, he's got three quarters of a body length after 20 metres. Can he hold on? And will, what will the others have to say? But they're coming at him now. So an excellent start there by Luke Midgley, Berkeley. But uh, he's got the others by his side right now and he's got Angus Donnelly and Chase Connor so he's in good company between five and six Chase Connor Will Haylock Multi-class event 29, amalgamated heats, I would have to say. All right, multi-class, always great event. Event 29, 53, starting the 53 program. Lane one, Isla Davies. Lane two, Storm. Sikasini, Kingy. Lane three, Macy Wilson. Lane four, Mason Lockhart. Five, Caleb Nichols. Six, Xavier Wilson. Seven, Tatum 
Ganderton, eight. Charlie Manwaring, 53. Start of the 53 program. Pretty exciting times. Time to throw your washing in. Uh, it will be turbulent and pretty quick. Fifty three. Multi class guys got us nicely underway with that. Fifty metres freestyle. Eight years girls, Michaela Merson, lane one, Hannah Crook, lane two, Finley Ashby, three, Frankie Fisher, four, five, Kaya Sims, Sophie Capetta, six, Sadie Rimmer, seven, Lily Bennett, eight, and Hazel Buckman, nine. That was our lineup for heat one.
of the eight years girls after the multi class guys did a beautiful job of leading us into the 50 meter freestyle program heat two this will all be pretty quick to the point of uh, squeezing all the information in between heats is a bit more challenging. Pascal Hart, one. Gianna Dragovic, two. Freya Chodart, three. Tully Abbott, four. Francis Teveld, five. Summer Perkis, six. Elise, sorry, Elsie Crump, seven. Harriet Easy, eight. Harriet Raj, Rag. Apologies if I didn't get that. Nine. She's from Yass. And she's doing well in lane eight. Lane six. Sorry, lane seven. Pushing it out there. Elsie Crump, Kayama. In heat two of the eight-year-old girls, 50 metres freestyle. Heat three, Georgia Redden one, Sophie Darmody two, Alia Nicholson three, Wheeler Basnett four, Penny Boyle five, Giselle Dudley six, Ari Lang seven, Ariel, Ariella Gatley eight, Violet Harmer nine, Heat four, Evelyn Walsh three, Harriet Monday four, Indigo Vouse five, Tay Ray six, Elizabeth Carroll seven, she's from Exeter, down from the Highlands. The girls are away to round out the final heat, heat four of girls, eight year old, 50 metres freestyle. going into event 34 boys eight years 
Andy Stackhouse, one. Jalen McLaren, two. Marty Frost, three. Archie Darragh, four. Saxon King, five. Phoenix Cartwright, six. Tallo Cochran, seven. Oscar Humphrey, eight. And Julian Torpy, nine. Busy. Everything's busy. All right, we are in the 50 metre freestyle.
Okay, that's the conclusion of event 34. And we're about to go to event 35, which is the nine-year-old girls 50 metres freestyle. Heat one, Lila Likaliki, Port Kembla, lane one. Chloe Baker, lane two. Kate Howes, lane three. Marley Luce, lane four. Maya Everett. Lane 5, Aria Freeman, 6, Sophia Cicado, 7, Olivia Carter, 8, Ella Onions, 9. Here we are. Uh, apologies for slight breaking commentary. Just had a little administration uh, to attend to. Um, so we're back and uh, we are in event 35. The girls, nine year old, 50 metres freestyle. Zara Simic, lane one. We're going in heat two. Olive Collins, two. Addison Galloway, three. Pippa Zaras, Shell, uh, sorry, Coromel East, lane four. El Moller, lane five, Olivia Coglin, six, Abby Lawton, seven, Holly Walker, eight, Mia Gray, nine. Girls are on their blocks. The sun is shining on them, and it is warm in Dapto at the complex at the moment. Well, here she is, lane nine, Mia Gray. Heat two, doing the work out in lane nine. I'd be surprised if the girls on the right side of the pool can see her. She's going to touch in Mia Gray in heat two. Heat three. We are in event 35, nine-year-old girls. We're sitting at a nice 29 degrees here at Dapto, Canna Hooker this morning. We make our way up to, in fact, we are at midday, and the carnival has been up and running for three hours now, three-hour mark. Many students have a number of events under their belt. We're going in heat three. Ailey Lulia, Port Kembla, lane one. Arnica Van Gangellen. Hope I got that right. Tathra, lane two. Adele Dragaski, lane three. Charlie Fleming, lane four. Billy Blackwell, five. Jamie Lee. Kuma North, six. Lucy Hainig, lane seven from Eden. From Jerobombra, Charlie Falzon in lane, is in lane eight. And Maya Alcantara from Sutton, nine. Girls make their way down the pool. 
Lane six, pushing it out. Jamie Lee. Nice effort from Jamie Lee. Heat three, Kuma North. Heat for Ava Fraser, lane two, Adele Visakai, Visakai. From Bigger, lane three, Holly Kelly, lane four, Amelia Gundry, five, Beth Thomas, six, Miranda Milan, lane seven, and Chloe Grange, eight. Uh, there are our girls everywhere from Cooma North, Bigger, Jerobombra, Tarago, Exeter, Miranda Milan from Mossvale. She's come down from the Southern Highlands today and she is swimming in lane seven, doing a very, very nice job of it. Chloe Grange, lane eight, yes. So let's have a look at how they pan out here. We have lane eight, Chloe Grange doing it nicely from yes. Beside her, another Southern Tablelands girl, Miranda Milan, Moss Vale. But it's going to be... It's going to be Chloe Grange. Lane 8 done a, has done a nice job. Probably just over the top of Beth Thomas from Exeter. So a few girls there swimming beside each other from the Tablelands. Beth Thomas, Miranda Milan and Chloe Grange. Nice job in Heat 4 of the 50 metres freestyle. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast today. Uh, we know we've got some people tuning in from throughout the state and um, an opportunity for you to either be uh, watching it in your classrooms. You might be able to talk your teacher into seeing a bit more of the afternoon session of swimming. It's going to be very, very exciting. Uh, if you're sitting at home or somewhere throughout the state or overseas. Welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to DAPTO. We're sitting at about 28, 29 degrees here now. The temperature's really pushing up. And the marquees and the shade cloths are very, very welcome at the moment. We are in the nine-year-old boys. Event 36, Heat 1, Sebastian Sheedy. Lane 1, Taylor Bartlett. 2, Liam Rowley. 3, Tom O'Reilly. 4, Hudson Salter. 5, Brody, Brody Moore. 6, Nate Thomas. 7, Kobe Ellison, eight. We've got Lane, four, Tom O'Reilly. Lindsay Park, most likely. And I tell you what, there are some pretty excited punters on the eastern side of the pool. Uh, swimming is an exciting event, but uh, it's almost like they take the excitement to a new level. It uh, must be wonderful to... Uh, to be able to enjoy the spectating from the poolside. It is from our point of view. We've got our nice uh, cover here and we've got the nice access to, um, to the video link and the stream. Hope you are enjoying it. Crowd seems to have quietened down a little bit now after that heat one of the nine-year-old boys. Heat two. Liam Tapper, one. Monty Galvin going out of two. Nixon Clark, three. Oliver Gadd, four. He's from Valgowney, up on the hill. Beside him, Nixon Clark. Russell Vale, just down the road. Ned Jenkins, Milton, lane five. From Naruma, Levi Skinner, six. Owen Keir, Russell Vale. A couple of Russell Vale boys in this event. Sam Dennett, lane eight. Tomarong. And all the way out from Pambula, Aiden Ruth, lane nine.
right, here we are with the Russell Vale contingent making their way down the pool. They're doing quite nicely. A little bit hard to pick at this stage. Lane six, lane eight, Levi Skinner may get over the top, but I think lane eight was also in the mix there. Sam Dennett, Tomarong. Heat three coming up. Nixon, Lehane, Dapto, lane one, local boy. Imagine he'll have a bit of support here. He's going in lane one. Is he there? I can't see him at lane one. Therefore, let's go to lane two. Patrick Todd. I think he's from Bungendore. He's in the distinctive maroon cap. Archie Lee, lane three. Kuma North. Leo Demir. Unundera. Quill. Mozicho. Gertz. Pleasant Heights, five. Harry Handley, six. He's come down from Robertson. Bruce Tierney. Gugong. Tomaso Capecci. Barrel. Casey Allen is in year nine. He's not in year nine. He's in lane nine. If he was in year nine, he would have swum yesterday. But he's in... Casey Allen is lane nine. He's doing quite nicely. It is... Harry Handley all the way down from Robertson rolling down the hill this morning from Robertson he's going to take them into the wall I think in lane 6 and he does it he's got some fans in the crowd there down behind the officials they did enjoy it Heat 4 Leo Amara Singa, Murrum Bateman, two, Jackson Palmer, Sussex Inlet, three, Cohen Oliver, Unandera, four, Noah Kettles, Jerob Bombra, five, Artie Cook, Kangaroo Valley, six, Billy Clem, Lane 7, Jindabyne, Brax Dunley from Yass, 8. Good collection of students all the way from Kangaroo Valley, Artie Cook. Imagine he's been doing some pretty good training. Artie Cook, uh, I know his parents are uh, very, very interested in the swimming program. And uh, he's doing all right here in Lane 6, representing Kangaroo Valley. But if he looks across to his right, he's going to see uh, Cohen Oliver from Unandera, who's uh, expressing an interest. But he's got to have a look to his left because in lane eight, Brax Dunley from Yass has pushed out to a uh, almost a body. So Brax Dunley is enjoying the waters of Dapto at around midday today. And he's going to touch in to complete heat form. Well, we were in, had the pleasure of interviewing some of the young ladies from Dapdale High School, part of the hospitality team earlier today. And, um, of course, when you're a little bit hungry and you're looking forward to something to eat, um, having to wait that little bit longer makes you just that little bit more keen to sample some of the excellent cuisine that was on offer uh, as an example of yesterday. And they haven't let anyone down. I'm tucking into a nice pumpkin pie here when I get the chance in between these 50 frees. I think they've sprinkled it with a little nutmeg. I'm not sure. I'm not the cooking expert. I'm not the chef. But um, those people that are hauling the mail in the kitchens down at Dapto have certainly produced. They've started out this morning with a nice little sampler just to get us going, and I'm sure the officials and staff are looking forward to, to lunch because uh, the pumpkin pie is absolutely excellent. We've got Heat 1, girls 10-year-olds in the pool, Heidi Wallach, Lane 1, Quinn Lange, 2, Evie Cernig, 3, Sophie Stackhouse, 4, Logan Sedgwick, 5, Leah Bramley, 7, Maeve Rimmer, 8, 
and Olivia Kirk, nine, round out the field in heat one. Heat two, Isabel Healy, one, Lexi Martin, two, Everly Morgan, three, Shelby Candy Berg, four, Pippa Clark, five, Piper Bell, six, Eden Ring, seven, Isla O'Keefe, eight, Abigail Ketness from Wallandilly will go in nine. They are on their blocks and the starter has them underway. There's not a lot of time here to um, exert your influence. You know, you're going to have to do it in, in under 40 seconds, uh, well under 40 seconds, because everyone is coming at you in the 50 metres pretty, pretty quickly. It's a sprint, and we've got the combinations of speed and strength and power on display here from all of these athletes. This is uh, very, very close. It's going to come down to timing and judging. Wow, what an event. Maybe lane five. Pippa Clark, Jindabyne. Hard to say. Heat three. Michaela Herman, Berkeley. Mia Musum will go in lane two. Sophia Barraza, lane three. Freya Swindles, four. Indiana Priest, five. Olivia Romanison. Olivia Romanison. Windang, lane six. Kennedy Kelly, seven. Heidi Kurak, eight. Florence McColl, nine. They're going at it here. Pretty serious stuff going on in lane one and two. Michaela Herriman. Mia Merson and the kids on the left side of the pool probably can't see that. Of four heats, event 37, girls, 10 years. Mackenzie Price, two. Georgie Lawton, three. Kira Justice, four. Georgia Lawrence, five. Charlotte Horswell, lane six. Ashley Armstrong, seven. And Camilla Sterling, eight. Girls are away. Boys, 10-year-olds, 50-metre free, Heat 1, Ollie Ring, Lone 1, Flinda Black, 2, Braxton Ferraro, 3, Aidan Rollins, 4, Dylan Kerr, 5, Hugo Tesonovic, Lane 6, Lucas Ellison, 7, Jarrah Flack, Lane 8, Arlo Mitchell, Lane 9. <laughs> Make their way down the pool. Middle lanes pushing up. Lane five, Bo Thompson.
So in lane five, Dylan Kerr. Coromel East. Most likely. Hard to judge it from here, though. It was pretty close. Going into heat two. Ten-year-old boys. Eddie Parnell will go in lane one. Ryan Downs in lane two. Lane three, Alexander Economos. Liam Chikuti, lane four. Lucas Ryan, lane five. Mason Brown, six. Ethan Zhang, seven. Tom Hallinan, lane eight. He's from Jerangong. And from Fig Tree Heights beside him, Drew Garvey. The boys are in the water and they are away. But it's with lanes three, four, and eight at the moment. Tom Hallinan, Alexander Economis, and Liam Chakuti. Officials certainly on their money when the 50 metre freestyles, the uh, pace is on. They are often uh, very closely contested events, very close at the finish. So judges, timekeeping, uh, personnel certainly uh, have to be paying great attention to detail, and they do. We're going with Heat 3, Sam Little. One, Boston Lewis. Two, Henry Nish. Three, Isaiah Hyam. Four, Will Coglin. Will Coglin. Five, middle of the pool, Minamura. Regis Walker, Oladala. Six, beside him, Liam Gronau. Bungendor. Seven, Marshall Perozzi. Jindabine. Eight, and Henry Griffiths from Barrel. Nine. Marshall Perozzi stamping himself on this one and he's got some company in lane five. Will Coglin, Minamura. It's going to come down to possibly a hit out there between five, eight and four. Lane five, eight and four. We're going into the final heat for the 10-year-old boys in lane two. William Carter from Collector. Lane three, Emlyn Hudson. Lane four, Lakeland Holiday. Lane five, Felix Mitchell. Lane six, Ben Davies Cook, Illawarra Road. Lane seven, Ike Warren, Eden. Tobin Fraser will swim in lane eight. Goulburn West, final heat away in the 10 year old boys. So here we are with the carnival well and truly underway and what many people consider to be a very exciting event to watch, obviously to participate in 50 metres of freestyle. So there's no hanging around in this. Uh, the effort has to be expressed and uh, put, on the, put in the water pretty quickly because the boys and the girls will have the event over smartly. It's a high power speed event. Here we've got lane six and lane seven. We're probably lane six. Ben Davies Cook from Illaru Road. We're moving into the 11 year old girls age group now. 50 metres of freestyle. Heat one. The event is 39. Avalon Canosa. She's from Austin, Mayor. Sage Lynch. Warrenora. Sorry. Waniora from Waniora is Sage Lynch, Macy Owen, Mount Terry, Riley Gaffer, Gugong from Wollongong, Dora Tan, Lane 5, Ella Burns, all the way from Pambula, will swim in Lane 6, Lucia. Lucia, Federici, Berry, 
Ina Markham, Marimbula, eight. From Browley, Audrey, Noble. We'll swim in lane nine. It's heat one. Great start to the 11 years program there for the girls. <coughs> Hotly contested. Heat two coming up. Rachel Nichols, lane one. We don't have a swimmer in lane two. Ginger Kerr, lane three. Emily Rolfe, lane four. Sophia Dragovic, lane five. Isabel Burke, six. Lila Lawrence, she's from Naruma, lane seven from Thoreau. Stella Keem from Sutton, Pippa Robards is going in nine. Girls are away. And straight into her work, lane six, Isabel Burke. Lane six, Isabel Burke had a very strong start. Made an impression in that first 25 minutes metres and she will carry it down into the wall. Lane six, most likely, Isabel Burke. My apologies, I think, uh, no, I've called that incorrectly. That would be Sophia Dragovic. Dragovic Shell Harbour. A uh, very impressive swim. Heat three. Claire Puckett, lane one, Berry, in fact, Berrydale. Yasmin Boyle, lane two, Tatum Sky, three, Sienna Stoddart, four, Willow Dwyer, five, Emily Payne, six, Scarlett Skerry, seven, Alexis Cambridge, lane eight, Sophia Allen, lane nine. Straight to the front, lane three, and lane five. Tatum Sky, Willow Dwyer. Most likely it is Tatum Sky that will lead them in. Um, possibly Willow Dwyer, lane five. Heat for Ava Sakiris Gundaru, lane two. <coughs> and no swimmer in lane two. Tuila Teofilo, lane three. Yes. Ivy Fay, Bundanoon, in lane four. Pippa McMurtry, lane five, Port Kembler. Ava Ross Kelly, lane six, Vincentia. Abigail Ross, lane seven, Bowral. Olivia Morby, Wallandilly, lane eight. We're in the final heat for the 11 years girls. 50 metres freestyle. Eleven-year boys, fifty-three. 
Archie Halliday, one. Joshua Greve, two. Harrison Hazard, three. Timothy Pan, four. Jimmy Fisher, five. Levi Freem, lane six. Harley Schultz, lane seven. Johan Schuster, lane eight. Maddox Lawler, nine. He's from Port Kembla. It's the middle of the pool. It's lane five. It's Jimmy Fisher from Wanuna. It's pushed to the front. The yellow cap. And he brings it in, Jimmy Fisher, most likely, lane five. We make our way down to look at our competitors for heat two as the temperature pushes to 29.5 degrees at Kanahooka. A little breeze uh, would help right now, but there's not a great deal there. We're going to heat two as the boys stand ready. Felix Poole, lane one. Badella, Jamie Smith, two. Barrel, Harry Torpy, Pambula, three in lane three. Hayden Paul, lane four. Browley, Coromel East, representative Hayden Hudson Summers, lane five. Lachlan Ardita, lane six. Lindsay Park. Jock Ross, Mossvale, lane seven. Eric Murtag. Herligi, lane eight. Jindabon from Jerangong. Zane Everett. As the boys come down to the final 10 metres, and it looks like Hudson Summers, possibly yellow cap, will lead them in. He's from Coromel East at Long Pioneer Road. And beautiful school that we have talked about in the past. Uh, had a nice set of cricket nets there. We did mention this a while back at a state championships and they had a very famous person open their cricket nets at the school. And that uh, famous person was an Australian cricketer. His name was Alan Davidson. They bowled a few balls down there probably pretty quickly to open up those nets and say a few nice words. The great Alan Davidson. We're now with Heat 3 of the boys 11 year olds 50s free nick hopkins one charlie homan two damon rose three kale deegan four cruz dunley lane five nicholas whitehead lane six rome monkley lane seven oscar martin lane eight and archer alcantara from sutton is in lane nine they're all there it's uh Lane five, Cruz Dunley from Yass takes it to the front and he's going to cruise in and uh, comfortably have time to have a look around. And they're out of there. The boys are out of the water. We're now going to heat four. Dash, Dingle, Wall, Talon will swim in lane two. Lewis Essen. Lane three, Ari Mangold, four, Jet Waters, five. Fletcher Stone, six. Fletcher Stone in lane six, Minamara. Henry Adams, lane seven, Naruma. And Boyd Cross, lane eight, Jerangong. It is Lewis Esson, Goblin West in lane three, who is asking them the questions at the moment, and he's setting the pace and moving up alongside him. In lane four is Ari Mangold. But I think we're going to find that Henry Adams out in lane seven also had uh, something to say about all of that. Uh, it was a very close finish. Judges and officials' calls are there, of course. Okay, girls, 12 years. 50 metres, freestyle. Four heats, they keep coming. 
Lulu Story will swim in lane one from Jindabyne. Adele Gray, Oak Flats, right beside her in lane two. Kendall Payne, lane three. Jerangong from Coldale. Leela, Lila, Ragna, lane four. Ciara Nixon, Coromel East, lane five. Right beside her, another Coromel East girl, Ava Humphrey. It's an economy of viewing for the kids at Coromel East at the moment. They've got both their girls um, in the one heat. Michaela Gladden from Port Kembla is in lane seven. Aofi O'Keefe, Bungendore, lane eight. And Mila Ward, lane nine. Kayama. Great contest. Heat two lining up. Temperatures up around 30 degrees now. Depto. No breeze to speak of. Bonita Lloyd Jones Browley will swim in lane one. They are all there. For Heat 2, listen to Corby, Fig Tree, Lane 2. From Port Kembla, Lola During, Lane 3. Emily Nichols, Shell Cove, 4. Eloise Davies, 5. Aladala, Mia Gilday, Shell Harbour, Lane 6. Lily Burns is in Lane 7. Bigger Vale, Alicia Buckley, Lane 8. Goulburn North. Anna Markovitz, Aladala is in Lane 9. As I said, they're all there. And they're making it uh, a nice race down the pool. But we've got a scattering of leaders right across the pool, anywhere from lane seven to the middle. Oh, hard to call. Goodness me. Thank heavens for officials, timekeeping equipment and photographic equipment. It's uh, to the naked eye, 25 metres away. I can't begin to imagine that I could make that decision. Heat three. Tia Thomas Hughes. Lane two, Caitlin Pierce. Three, Victoria Capecci. Lane four, Elena Ringer. Five, Eleni Fickers. Six, Aisha Juliet Moon from Jindabyne in seven, Emily Palmer, Unandera eight, Annabelle Bassnett, Gunning nine. Emily Palmer is pushed to the front here and she's doing it out in lane eight. Bang, in she goes. No mucking around with uh, looking across the middle of the pool. She just put her head down and went. Emily Palmer, Unandera, we're moving into heat four. Final heat for the 12 year old girls. Ayla Ellams, lane two, yes. Ivy, Porter, Watson, Marimbula, three. Quimbian, Delilah, Selway. Bethany Lukes, Camberwara, lane five. Claire Edwards, six. Goulburn East, Bonnie Sexton, Vincentia, lane seven. From Jerobombra, Caitlin Titmarsh, lane eight. And from Exeter, up on the hill, Isla Davies. Here they come. No change in, um, in the format here. It's pretty scattered once again. It's all very close. But we've got lane seven heading them out. It is Bonnie Sexton from Vincentia. It appears to be doing slightly better. She's got girls right on her shoulder each side. Claire Edwards in lane six. He's really pushed. He might have got there in the end, Claire Edwards. Next event, 12 years, boys. 53. Tyler Morgan, lane one. Russell Vale from Coromel East. Jarvis and Nixon, lane two. Fig Tree Heights, Dylan Walsh is in lane three. Byron Ritchie, lane four. From Allo Dulla. Bo Thompson, lane five. Kobe Everett, lane six. Tommy Darrow, lane seven. Eddie Laird, lane eight. Luke Forrester, Aladulla in lane nine. First heat, 12-year-old boys.
Pushing up the middle of the pool. KB Everett, Bo Thompson, Tom Darragh. Heat two, boys 12 year olds. Jake Lawton will swim in lane one. He's from Gunny. Wynn Moller, lane two, Shell Harbour. Henry Mat Matias. Cherangong, Phoenix. Chanhasimone. Bulleye, four. Max Polhill, five. Victory Heights, Coromel East. Lewis, Jackson, Want. And he's in six from Windang, Beckham, Lulia, Natek, Clues is in eight, Beagervale. From Kangaroo Valley, Sampson Hole is in nine. Lane seven, six and four here. Beckham, Lilia, Jackson, Lewis, Jackson, Want, and Max Polhill. Heat two, heat three. Castor Troy, lane one from Barrow. Lennox Demura, lane two. Sam Little, lane three. Harley Muller, <coughs> four. Sean Manson, lane five. Josh Walker, six. Leo Hambly, seven. Finn Jamison, eight. And Kai Howcroft, lane nine. All right, we are at heat four. Charlie Nichols, uh, lane one. Jack Curry, lane two. Tully Cross, lane three. It's the 12-year-old boys. Mitchell Adams, lane four. Luke Midgley, lane five. Will Gibson, six. Trey Duvin, he's from Yass. He'll swim in seven. Mimi Withers-Wheatley from Unandera will swim in eight. And Lucas McGovern will swim in Lane nine from Marimbula.
Right, uh, back into it. Here we go with uh, we've got the medleys, individual medleys. So uh, anyone who hasn't had enough swimming in the first part of the day is certainly making up for it right now. Hazel O'Keefe is in lane one. We've got the girls, eight to ten years, two hundred metres medley, backstroke leg, doing it nicely. Are the girls Hazel O'Keefe? is in lane one. Aria Freeman, lane two. In my program, it has Morris Penelope. I'm wondering if it's Penelope Morris. My apologies if I've got that wrong. Lane three, Sophie Stackhouse. Lane four, Oak Flats. Logan Sedgwick. Wanuna, lane five, Evie Cernig. Lane six, Quinn Lange. Jerobombra, lane seven. And two girls from Jamboree. Olivia Kirk and Maeve Rimmer round out the field for the girls. Eight to ten years, 200 metres individual medley. We're into the butterfly leg. Lane five. Logan Sedgwick. Wanuna. Girls coming to the end of their journey. Individual medley. Eight to ten years. Nice swimming. Lane five, by the looks of that, unofficial Logan Sedgwick. <clears throat> Heading into the boys, eight to ten years, 200 metres, individual medley. Word on the around the pool deck is that the Dapdale High School students and culinary team, chef and associated uh, kitchen hands, cooks, chefs, have landed, and as a result of that, so has lunch. Uh, there will be a lunch break in this in these championships, and I can tell you, I'm very much looking forward to what the Dapdow High School kitchens have put forward for us today. After yesterday's culinary extravaganza of wraps and focaccias, a whole range of beautiful uh, foods to sample, uh, I'm sure. Well, at least I have an advantage in that I was at the secondary championships yesterday and I got to experience the the beautiful foods that were provided, but um, I'd say a lot of the officials here today uh, are going to be very, very pleasantly surprised by what lands on their plate in a few minutes' time. Very important to uh, sustain the officials' assistance throughout the day. 
It is a long day of competition, long day of officiating. Boys now, 8 to 10 years, 200 metres individual medley. Flinder, Black, Naruma going in lane one. The boys are about to commence their individual medley journey. Brody Moore, lane two, Albion Park. Tom O'Reilly, lane three, Lindsay Park. Lucas Ryan, lane four, Farnborough Road. Tarawana, Hugo Tasanovic, five, in lane five. From Coromel East, Dylan Kerr is in six. Ethan Zhang, Wollongong, seven. Byron Lomka, Coromel East. He's the second Coromel East boy in the lineup. Lane eight, Braxton Ferraro, Berkeley in lane nine. These are the boys that make up the field as the field makes its way down to the northern end of the pool for the first time. And, of course, they are performing the butterfly, that very technical and beautiful stroke to watch if you get it right. Um, and these fellows certainly can do butterfly. And they swing into backstroke now. And so efficient are they that uh, they are eating up the metres here and are halfway down the pool in the backstroke league. Pretty close as far as the competition goes at the moment. Got Ethan Zhang from Wollongong, year seven, leading them out. Such an interesting event, the individual medley, because it, it it comes and goes in terms of who is leading the race, who is feeling stronger at any particular point, what strokes um, the different swimmers, athletes prefer, which ones they are more proficient at. But at the moment, with Butterfly and Backstroke under his belt, Ethan Zhang leads them round in lane seven and he swings into the breaststroke leg let's see how he feels about that he has got uh, some young men in close contact with him who are very interested he has dylan kerr in lane six from coromel east and he has hugo tasanovic in lane five But Ethan Zhang's having a fine time of it at the moment. He uh, appears to enjoy the three technical skills of butterfly, backstroke and breaststroke. And he may have the luxury of taking a five-metre lead, by the looks of it, into the final leg where he will turn, swing over and roll into a 50-metre freestyle leg. Here he goes now. He makes the touch, turns over and he is heading for home it is ethan zhang lane seven in the red cap standing out the other boys are chasing him now but they've got some serious work to do if they're going to make contact with ethan zhang nice lead coming up here from hugo tasanovic he is he's holding Probably not gaining a great deal on Ethan, but they're certainly holding, and beside him, Dylan Kerr. They have chased well, but uh, Ethan Zhang is going to have it all his own way into the wall here. Bang, in he goes. He takes event 46, 200 metres, individual medley for 8 to 10-year-old boys, and the other fellows are chasing him home now. you look at the sport of swimming and what leads people into the different sports and takes them in these directions, but uh, many swimming clubs uh, throughout the Illawarra, the South Coast, the state, the nation, uh, provide excellent organisation and facilities to train and prepare swimmers. And it's not only a, a great physical environment to operate in and become, you know, work on your fitness, but also a good social setup that they, a lot of them try to generate um, and what, a, what an excellent sport it is for fitness and a lot of those clubs I know would pride themselves on uh, exercising a very good uh, program of social interaction amongst their athletes to uh, provide that you know, well-rounded person that, that, that sport can do. Next event, event 47, 
girls, 11 to 13 years, 200 metres, individual medley. Girls are lining up now. Lily Burns, Biggervale, lane one. Ella Burns, Pambula, lane two. Zani Freeman, Waniora. Zani Freeman. Ophi O'Keefe Bungendor will swim in lane four. Beside her, Ciara Nixon, Coromel East. Leela Wagner, Coldale is lane six. Kendall Payne is in lane seven, Jerengong. Anna Markovitz is from Aladala. She's going in lane eight. And beside her, from Waniora, Heidi Morris. <laughs> Girls are away, and as always, uh, for those who can perform the butterfly, which all of these girls can, it is a great sight. With this smooth and efficient action as they head down the pool. And we have lane five. Ciara Nixon. Carmel East has blown it away in the first 50 here. She's obviously uh, very, very comfortable and enjoys the butterfly. And she's taken it out in very, very strong fashion. She swings over and turns it into backstroke. And it's a great, long, strong action here from Ciara Nixon. She's in the yellow cap. She lays it back and turns it over. And it's like she was out for a stroll on a Sunday afternoon. She just looks completely comfortable and efficient and untroubled at the moment. Girls might have made a little ground on her in the backstroke. But Sarah's going to turn it over now and move into the breaststroke leg. She comes up. She maintains the five metre lead and asks the other girls to chase her. Leela Wagner, lane six. Aofi, Aofi. Aofi O'Keefe in pursuit. But uh, Kiara Nixon. If it's Ciara, I apologise, but uh, she is turning a five metre lead at the wall into seven metres now where she churns into freestyle and. Nothing's changed. The action is strong, efficient, and great to watch as she makes her way down the middle of the pool. She's got open ground, and I have to tell you, she's got it all to herself here. She brings it down into the last 15 metres. It's a really great swim as she brings it down into the wall, qualifying first place. Great swim. Uh, a number of appreciative spectators as well. All right, let's lead into the final event before the break. Boys, seniors, 200 metres medley. Max Polehill, Fig Tree Heights will swim in lane one. Sharon Gong, Tommy Darag is going in lane two. Byron Ritchie will swim in lane three from Aladulla. And beside him, one of his mates, 
also from Aladella, Luke Forrester is going in lane four. Jarvis Nixon in lane five. Tyler Morgan is in lane six. He's from Russellvale. Another Aladella boy, Harry Davies, is in lane seven. Owen Oswald, Minamura, lane eight. Beckham Lulia from Windang. They are the swimmers that comprise the field for the senior boys 200 metres individual medley they are swimming from south to north and the sun is beating straight down now we're at 30 degrees here at DAPTO a warmer carnival than the secondary championships yesterday the boys turn it is with lane 5 Jarvis Nixon Coromelis he takes them round and he drags the field down the pool. Luke Forrester is keeping him company. He's on his toes and Luke Forrester's swimming in lane three. He's one of the Ulladulla uh, trio that have qualified for this event. From Windang, Beckham, Lulia. He's doing quite nicely out in lane nine. They turn it round. But it is lane five. Jarvis Nixon, Coromel East. If you're watching from Coromel East or anywhere, I hope you're enjoying the show. It's a fine display of all of the strokes of swimming here, or the four very technical strokes. Jarvis Nixon takes them down the middle of the pool. He's swimming back up to the northern end for the second time. He's in the breaststroke leg. He has beside him Tyler Morgan from Russellvale in lane six, who's made a little ground. And I think Tyler Morgan might make this interesting down the final stretch. Let's see. Jarvis Nixon has the advantage of going around first and opening up a, maybe an extra metre there. But uh, the contest is on here, well and truly. And Tyler, uh, sorry, Jarvis Nixon will be able to see Tyler Morgan on his right-hand hip as we come down into the final 25. And Tyler Morgan is lifting. It's a great race. Uh, these are the sort of things that are just make watching swimming really uh, wonderful and the boys come down to the wall and he holds him off I think and geez he had to, he made him work for it in the end I can't imagine these guys won't appreciate each other's efforts the, the two yellow caps just going at it over the last 50 metres and Tyler Morgan had to make up a little ground there is the handshake absolutely in recognition of each other's efforts. We were chatting about the uh, camaraderie and sportsmanship yesterday at the secondary carnival, and it is a really lovely thing to see that, you know, competitors can can just sort of be going at each other like that, competing at the height of their powers, and then when they get a chance to compose themselves, take a couple of breaths, um, then they have the, also the opportunity to just reach across and say, hey, that was... Um, that was really well done. It's very, very impressive. We have a short break now uh, in the program. A lunch break, if you like, at the uh, Primary Schools Carnival. 30 degrees of temperature here. A little cooler in the pool. We're going to take that short break. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast from wherever you're watching. And uh, we'll see you back in a little while for the afternoon section of the program.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the afternoon session of swimming here at Dapto. And we're very pleased to be able to bring you a very, very exciting uh, set of events to open up the afternoon session with some senior relays. We have in Heat 1, Winuna, Lane 1, Jerangong, Lane 2, Pleasant Heights, Lane 3, Berry, Lane 4, Ulladulla, Lane 5, Coromalese, Lane 6, Shell Harbour, Lane 7, Jerobombra, Lane 8, and Kiravilla in, le- yeah, in Lane 9. Uh, the word around the pool deck is that the kids from Ulladulla are uh, uh, in the classroom or sitting around watching this relay uh, and... That's what we hope uh, a lot of schools are doing. If you are watching from Aladulla, uh, of course, welcome to the broadcast, as always, as to all our viewers. And uh, the Aladulla boys have a message for you back in the classroom that they are all thinking of you, uh, having a nice swim for the school today. And they are running hot in lane five. They say they are running hot in lane five. And... They are certainly laying down, throwing down the gauntlet here. They have opened it up to a five-metre lead. Their swimmers are Luke Forrester, Lockie Helms, Harry Davies in the water at the moment with Byron Ritchie as uh, anchor man to bring it home, and he is in the water. And they have handed him a healthy lead. It's a nice high arm action. Uh, we believe it is Byron Ritchie. In the water now. And he has 10 metres of lead with 20 metres to swim. They are trying to come at him, but no impression here. I assume Ulladulla Primary School are pretty happy about this as they bring it in in lane five and he touches to secure the victory. And they will post a time. Alongside Berry and Coromel East and the other schools in an attempt to secure a spot at the state championships in April. Great swim from all the boys. Heat two <clears throat> will be Unandera in lane one, Jindabyne lane two, Milton three, Tarthra four. Port Kembla 5, Barrel 6, Marimba in lane 7, Shell Cove in 8, and Kuma in lane 9. About to go. Heat two, heat two, senior boys, four by 50 metre freestyle. Heading over into the second leg for the senior boys, 50 metre freestyle, heat two. We have lane three, Milton, uh, going head to head with lane seven, Marimbula. They're on opposite sides of the pool. They can probably just see each other in the corner of the eye at the moment. Milton pushing it out in lane three.
They make the changeover. According to our information, it looks like we have Banquo O'Neill in the water for Milton. And Cade Cochran swimming for Marimbula. Those two boys with their teams are at the head of the race, the head of the relay. They make the changeover, and it is in heat two. Marimbula, I believe, are in the hands of Max McBain as he takes them down the final leg. They look like they're in pretty safe hands at the moment. He has a five-metre lead, a four- to five-metre lead, and he has that over lane four, Tarthra, with Brendan Sullivan in charge. And Brendan Sullivan is coming at him. It's a really good finish. He won't have time to catch him. They go in lane seven, Marimbula. Heat three. We'll have the senior girls as the last event of the day. <clears throat> senior girls will be the last event of the day. Senior girls relays. And in between all of that, we will have the butterfly section of the program. Heat three. Wallandilly, lane two. They are there. John Ketnis, I believe, stands there and will take them down the first leg. So we have here in Heat 3, going down the first leg, following schools, Wallandilly, Lane 2, Greenwall Point, Lane 3, Illaroo Road, Lane 4, Moss Vale, Lane 5, Queenbeyan. Yes, Gunning. And Goulburn West. In the water now, ready to go. Well, they will go, the third swimmers for each of their respective schools. Kai Poller will go for Wallandilly. For Greenwood Point, Jetson Bond. Clayton Evans will go for Illaroo Road. Dominic Brown, Mossvale. Oliver Lockley, Queenbeyan. Jalou Wallace. Yes, Alex Warhurst for Gunning and for Goulburn West, Charlie Nichols in the water now, heading it up, lane four, Illaroo Road. They will hand over and he will put it in the hands of Joshua Grieve. According to the program, Joshua Grieve now Starts his journey down the 50 metres. High arm action and a high rate, a very high stroke rate here. And um, he's going to have some company here uh, if he doesn't push it along because we've got beside him from Mossvale, Jock Ross moving up onto his toes. And in lane seven, Cruz Dunley 
but he might be able to get there. I think he's he's done enough. He may be able to hang on here. Illaroo Road, Edward Young, we believe, has done the work. Sorry, sorry for Illaroo Road. Bringing to an end the boys' relay programs for the day. All right, we're going to uh, move into event forty. Event fifty. It's going to be an amalgamated event, multi-class. Okay, so our line-up here is Caleb Nichols doing it nicely, lane five. Xavier Wilson, lane six. And Macy Wilson, lane eight. Ladies and gentlemen, we're very fortunate to just pan away from uh, our multi-class event there, uh, and we're very fortunate to have Ross Copland, who is uh, your principal at uh, Maroolan. Is that right? Right, yeah. He's also the vice president of South Coast uh, School Sport. So we just uh, got the opportunity to spend a bit of time with him, see what he thinks about things and how things are going. Welcome, Ross. How are you finding the carnival today? Well, the carnival's been fantastic today. It's thinned out a little bit now. We're getting near the end of it, but... Uh, We've had over 800 competitors here today in various various races, um, and it's been running very, very smoothly so far, which is excellent. Fantastic. Now, we're doing live stream. Are you aware whether the Maroolan kids are getting a bit of live stream today, or they might be picking some up later? We're not sure. Unfortunately, we got swimmers to the district carnival this year, but nobody made it to the uh, to the next step, which is great. We had 15 from our school of 126 qualify, so we're pretty pleased with that. Yeah, so, absolutely. little steps. But uh, the Goulburn Crookwell district isn't the strongest district in swimming either, but we've had our, our, our kids down here from there and they've competed well, so we're pretty proud of them. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's great. And hopefully they get to enjoy some swimming as the, as the years go on. Um, you are the Vice President of South Coast School Sport. What are your views on how it's been going in recent times? Uh, look, I'm very proud, firstly, to be the Vice President of South Coast School Sport. We have a, a wonderful organisation here. Our, our region's one of the biggest in, in the state sport regions, and we go from Stanwell Park right down to the Victorian border up to Snowy Mountains, Crookwell, Goulburn and the Southern Highlands, and all the schools involved in that area 
a part of our south coast. It's a massive region to coordinate anything. Hence, this is one of our big three carnivals and the coordination of this, you know, to the people who, to Naomi, our carnival convener, and to Megan, our, uh, um, our SCO. Uh, you know, massive, massive effort to get it all sorted, and we're very, very lucky to have them as part of our organisation. Absolutely. I see you've been uh, uh, able to, you've had the opportunity to present some awards to swimmers today. It's uh, something you enjoy, no doubt. I've just got a feeling you've probably performed a lot of different roles at, at uh, carnivals over the years and, and, and sporting events. Can you, can you roll back a few years and just give us a bit of a, a resume on some of the interesting things that you have done? Well, I've been very lucky to be involved in school sport and, and South Coast school sport for some more than 20 years and, uh, and lucky enough to be doing lots of jobs at the big three carnivals right from timekeeping and marshalling. And I'm lucky enough now I get to, to present the certificates to the, to the children who have really, really achieved these carnivals. I'm really, very proud to do that. I'm also lucky enough to be involved in rugby union and I've done that, that role for uh, the South Coast for sort of more than 20 years and uh, I get to see another, another avenue of it, team sport if you like, and uh, take those kids away for three days to different places around the state and they compete against all the other regions and private school um, and Catholic school reg- uh, organisations as well and we have, a, we have a great time doing that. You know, I'm very, very, very lucky to be in this, in this role for sure. Well, our congratulations to you on the on the contribution that you have made and that you no doubt will continue to make to to school sport because it's it's been it's been massive and uh, I know that a lot of students and parents and people associated with school sport have, have been able to benefit from that. Are you going to the state championships this year? Oh, I don't I don't do that one. That's uh, that's something that other people will go on and do and that's probably good because I probably need to be at school a bit more. <laughs> so, um, but uh, but I'm lucky enough to have a great school that's working that does it stuff without me some days but uh, other people take the managers from this carnival will take those children on our team on our South Coast team on to the uh, Sydney Olympic Park and uh, compete against and I said all the other state regions the combined independent schools MacKillop and Polding who are the Catholic Catholic regions as well and um, it's another step up, you know, for these guys. They go there. We're lucky that some of our kids will come to this carnival, and this is this is the pinnacle, maybe that they get, they will get to. You know, they're representing their small schools in their relay teams, or they're representing their small towns, uh, and um, it's fantastic for them. And then these these uh, students will go on to the next one. We're really, really proud of them as well, and, and that's a, a whole nother level. But uh, I don't do that one in, in this in swimming, but I'm lucky I do it in a few other things. So a few other people go along and do that for us, which is which is fantastic. Well, um, even though they won't get to see you at the state championships, I'm sure everybody back at Maroolam will enjoy having you on deck and, uh, and enjoying your nice company around the school. Congratulations on all the work that you've done, and thanks very much for talking to us this afternoon on the live feed. And uh, good luck with everything in school sport in the future. Thank you very much. And, and thanks for you guys for covering this for us as well. It's really, really good for that aspect, as you say, for the schools that have participants swimming or running or uh, whatever's happening. And we have the team sports happening as well when they're playing rugby league and they get they, their classes get to live stream in. Their grandparents who can't make the trips, all that comes into it. It's a fantastic facility for us to have as part of the, the carnival. Thanks, Ross. Enjoy the rest of the carnival. Thank you. Ross Copland there, uh, principal at Maroolan Public School and also vice president of the South Coast School Sport. It's great uh, that he could spend some time with us this afternoon talking a little bit about his views on school sport and his involvement. We've got some butterfly going on. We're in the butterfly section of the program. All right, we rejoin 
the uh, regular program here and we are at event 54 heat four it is the 10 8 to 10 years girls 50 meters butterfly heat four jesse hutchinson lane three maruya from yes aria cook basusto Lane four, Ariel Wilson, Gunning, lane five. In lane six, Elani van der Mullen, Brow Lee, and Lucy Hughes is swimming in lane seven. She's from Mittagong. <laughs> nice afternoon for a swim. Uh, nice afternoon for a dip, but these girls aren't having a dip at the moment. It's all pretty... Pretty switched on and serious as they are making their way down the pool in heat four of 50 metres of butterfly. I don't know if you've tried the butterfly stroke, but it is uh, it is one of the more challenging skills in life. And those people that can perform it, like these girls, and they make it look easy. Beautiful fluency, beautiful rhythm, and they just carve their way, pull their way through the water. So... That is the conclusion of the 8 to 10 years, 50 metres butterfly. Girls, let's go to event 55. It's the boys, 8 to 10 years, 50 metre butterfly. Heat one, there are three of these. Jack Jarvis will swim in lane one. Byron Lomka, Coromel East, lane two. Jack Jarvis is Albion Park boy. Ethan Zhang, Wollongong. Dylan Kerr, lane four, Coromel East. From Tarawana, Hugo Tesonovich, lane five. Farnborough Road competitor, Lucas Ryan, is in lane six. Lake South competitor, Lucas Ellison, is swimming lane seven. Tom O'Reilly is in lane eight. Brody Moore, lane nine, Albion Park. Brody Moore, lane nine, Albion Park. Tom O'Reilly, lane eight. And Tom O'Reilly is Lindsay Park. He's from Lindsay Park. We've got a really good contest going on here with lane four. Dylan Kerr pushing it out there. He touches in the yellow cap from Coromel East. Once again, very excited spectator on the uh, eastern bank. Uh, thrilled with that performance, I assume, for Dylan Kerr from Coromel East. Um, the spectator returns to their seat to enjoy the rest of the program. Here we go into heat two. Thomas Johnson, Balgowney, up on the hill. From Cooman North. Down south, Charlie Redden, Sam Little, Tarthra, lane three, Braxton, Ferraro, Berkeley, lane four, Marshall, Perozzi, Jindabyne, lane five. Ollie Ring, Cherangong, lane six, Flinder Black, Naruma, lane seven. Lane eight, Ryan Downs, Shell Cove. And from just beside him, Hudson Beveridge, lane nine, Shell Harbour. Pretty even contest at the moment. <coughs> Flinder Black, Naruma, has moved it out to a body length, which is significant when you're looking at only 25 metres swum. But he goes in the black and red cap along lane seven. And he has got enough lead to pull it into the wall from here. I think one more stroke and he's there and he hits the wall. It is most likely Flinder Black. Naruma takes heat two of boys eight to ten years, 50 metres, butterfly. Let's have a look at our competitors in heat three. Callan Gaffer, 
Gugong. He's in lane one. He stands ready to swim from Berrydale. Lake and Holiday, lane two. Dio Pratt, lane three. Berkeley, Tommaso Capecchi, Barrel, lane four. Henry Niche, Jerobombra, lane five. From Pambula, down south on the coast, Aidan Ruth. Is in lane six. Liam Chakuti is from Robertson. Emlyn Hudson is in lane eight. Owen Blair is in lane nine. Lane five, opening it up. Henry Niche, Jerobombra. Tough old stroke, this. Nothing gets easier in the last 10 metres. Fatigue starts to set in. It's a beautiful stroke to watch, but it's a hard stroke to perform. Yeah, the boys are doing a fine job. It's a really close finish. Henry Niche. Probably contested with Dio Pratt from Berkeley in lane three. That brings to a conclusion the boys' eight to ten years, 50 metres butterfly. We're moving to the girls now. F event 56. The girls, 11 years, 50 metres butterfly. Lane one, Avalon, Canosa, Austin Mir, Sage Lynch. Lane two, Waniara, Annabelle Ward, Lindsay Park. Lane three. Riley Gaffer, Gugong, Lane 4, Dora Tan, Wollongong is in Lane 5, Ella Burns, Lane 6, Pambula, and from down that way, Ina Markham from Marimbula, Lane 7, Stella Keane is from Thoreau, she's in Lane 8, and Emily Payne has come up from Kuma, and she is swimming in Lane 9, it is Butterfly. All right, here we are, heat two. The four heats for the girls' 11 years. Sophia Dragovic, Tatum Sky, Havana Huenda, Macy Owen, Emily Roth, Audrey Noble, Lila Lawrence, Pearl Wilson, and Lucia, Lucia Federici,
All right, we're going now with heat three in the 11 years girls. Complete lineup here, all nine lanes. Pippa McMurty, Port Kembla, lane one. Pippa Robards, lane two. Rachel Nichols, lane three. Yasmin Boyle, four. Sienna Stoddart, five. Betsy Higgins, six. Ivy Fay, seven. Gemma Carpenter, eight. Amelia McAlpine, nine. And they punch their way down the pool in Butterfly. And if you're looking for a nice way to tie yourself out completely after a good full day of swimming, I reckon Butterfly would be a good way to do it. But these girls seem to make it look like a breeze as they glide powerfully down the pool. And it is lane eight. Gemma Carpenter, Sussex Inlet, is going to thrash this out with lane four. I think Yasmin Boyle, possibly Tarawana. Great race. Heat four. In heat four here for the 11 years girls, we will have no swimmer in lane two. Lane three has Sophia Allen. Lane four, Letitia Rodriguez. Neve Beattie is in lane five. Claire Puckett is in lane six. Berrydale. Elizabeth Moore, lane seven. Georgia Kemp Robertson from Crookwell is here. And she is swimming in lane eight. Well, it's the middle lane. Neve Beattie from Barrel has just come out punching. And alongside her now, moving past her in lane seven, is Elizabeth Moore in the maroon cap. And she takes it out to a body length, which makes it, a, once again, a very, very impressive swim in that first 25 metres. Both girls got away. And Elizabeth took it one step further. Elizabeth is from Hayes Park. And she's going to complete the journey first up in lane seven. Elizabeth Moore, Hayes Park. Moving into event 57. Boys, 11-year-olds, 50 metres, butterfly. Johann Schuster, he's from Shell Harbour. He stands ready to go. In lane one, beside him, Levi Freem, Hayes Park, lane two. Harley Schulz, Mount St Thomas. Lane three, Timofey Pan, Kiraville is in lane four. Joshua Grieve, Greenwell Point, lane five. Coromel East, Harrison Hazard, lane six. Lane seven, Jimmy Fisher, Winuna. Lane eight, Hudson Summers, Coromel East. And from Farnborough Road, Axel Grimsey is coming down lane nine as we speak. The boys are in, up and swimming. And it's a nice contest across the middle of the pool. Uh, but they have company. It's a nice arrowhead formation. You don't see it very much with that sort of uh, detail. But uh, we've got lane five, Joshua Grieve, Greenwell Point, leading them out in heat one. He's in the blue cap. He's turning it over nicely. And he's looking strong as he's looking for the end of the pool and he comes into the wall glides has the luxury of a little glide looked like Joshua Grieve
going heat two. Boys, 11 year olds, 50 metres, butterfly. James Bauer, lane one. Joseph Perifanoglu, lane two. No swimmer, lane three. Josh Onions, lane four. Harry Torpy, lane five. They're away. I'll give you the rest as they swim. Maddox Lawler, lane six. Charlie Homan, he's from Cabago. He's in lane seven. Rome Monkley, Shell Harbour, lane eight. And we have someone swimming right alongside us here. Eric Murtak Herligi from Jindabyne, lane nine. It's lane five. Taking it out, half a body length. Harry Torpy, Pambula. So it is Harry Torpy that is enjoying a small lead, but he has lane six coming at him. Maddox Lawler, and it's Maddox Lawler's got in just in front there. A very good second half. A very good second half, last 25 metres there for Maddox Lawler. Going into heat three. Jace Ferguson, lane one, Sussex Inlet. Jackson Fisher, lane two, Gerard Bombra from Milton. Ezekiel Lampard, lane three, Ari Mangold, lane four. Felix Poole, lane five, Badala. Jamie Smith, Barrel, lane six, Cruz Dunley from Yass, lane seven, Baxter Green, lane eight, Kuma and Owen Wraith, Gerringong. He's in lane nine. Racing. Heat three. The 11 year old boys. Well, it's a combined effort at the head of the field here. But if we had to pick somebody, it is probably Ari Mangold in lane four. They're starting to come at him now, and he's going to have to see if he can hang on. But he has certainly done the hard work in the first 30 metres. We've got lane seven pushing to the finish here, Cruz Dunley. Cruz Dunley may have done the job, but Ari Mangal is certainly uh, part of the uh, discussion there in those final 10 to 5 metres. Heat 4, 11 years boys. Butterfly, that glorious stroke. Combination of efficiency, power and grace is the butterfly. Marcus Tuvi, lane three. Central Tilba. Arthur Goodridge, Kayama, lane four. Queenbin, Damon Rose, lane five. From Jerobombra, Finlay, Kemp, lane six. Jackson Crisp, Yass, in seven. No swimmer in lane four. It's a four man event, this final hit. All right, in this final heat, they are 25 metres down with 25 metres metres to go. It is Finlay Kemp, lane six. He's come in from Jerobombra for this one. Damon Rose, Queenbian, swimming in lane five beside him, both in the Queenbian hats. The maroon and white 
make their way down the pool. It is Finlay Kemp. And my apologies for the short break in commentary there. I just had to escort a small spider out to the garden. Uh, it's, I think it's feeling a little bit better now out in the garden than it was on the concrete here. Anyway, the spider's in his or her place, and we are here with heat three of the 12 to 13 years girls, 50 metres butterfly. Edith Davis, Mount Kembla, from Illaroo Road, Caitlin Pierce. She's in lane two, Caitlin Pierce, Victoria Capecci, lane three from Barrel, Alicia Buckley, Goulburn North, four, Erin Bracht, lane five from Robertson, Lulu Story, Jindabyne is in six, Summer Brain, Milton, seven, Maisie McKillop, lane eight, Pambula, Natalie, Natalie Bloxham, Port Kembla, Swimming in lane nine there in the third heat.
11 years, uh, 12 to 13 years girls, heat four. The final individual event of the day. And we will bring it home with... Um, my apologies, we will have a, a bank of boys heats to bring this home for individual events for Butterfly. But the final individual girls event of the day... Isabella Bladen, lane two. Bonnie Sexton, lane three. Annabelle Bassnett, lane four. Claire Edwards, lane five. Lucy Manwaring, six. Marley Kelly, seven. Alice Parsons, lane eight. They are making their way down the pool now. They're being led out by Bonnie Sexton, Vincentia in lane three. And it is Bonnie Sexton, Vincentia takes them in in lane three to complete the girls' individual programs for the day. Boys, 12 to 13 years, 50 metres, butterfly. Owen Oswald, one. Dylan Walsh, two. Tommy Darragh, three. Tyler Morgan, four. Jarvis Nixon, five. Bo Thompson, six. Byron Ritchie, seven. Lewis Jackson, one, eight. And Beckham Lulia, nine. They make their way down the pool. The final swim in an individual event at the championships. It is lane six that has moved out. Bo Thompson. It is Bo Thompson, lane six. He takes them into the wall in the bright red cap. Heat two. Heat two will see the following swimmers. Esaia, Harris, Berry, lane one. Leo Hambly, Sanctuary Point, is in lane two. Trey Duvin, Yes, lane three. Natek Kluse, Bigavale, lane four. Max Polhill, lane five. Fig Tree Heights, Luke Forrester, Lane 6, Aladella, Finn Jamison, Lane 7, Tarawana. Wynn Moller, Lane 8, Shell Harbour, Harley Moller, Lane 9, Barrel. It is lane six, towing them down the pool. Max Polhill. From, sorry, it is Luke Forrester. Luke Forrester. Aladella, great swim, takes them in. Second heat.
Heat 3, Gilbert K, Lane 1, Kuma, Edward Young, Lane 2, Illaru Road, Caster Troy from Barrow, Lane 3, Tommy Jeffries, Lane 4, Bungendore, Lewis Brownlee, Lane 5, Josh Walker, Lane 6, Charles Niche, both from Jerobombra. Jake Lawton, Lane 8. Bailey DeMoon, Lane 9. So Lane... So it is Heat 3. They are waiting for the starter. They're waiting for the officials. You keep in mind that uh, the butterfly is quite a technical stroke and therefore um, there's the, always the possibility that... I mean, the, the room is there for an infringement. Uh, uh, so therefore, occasionally, the officials have to speak to a swimmer about such a thing. Here we go, Heat 3. Butterfly. Senior boys. Away. It's with lane four. It's with Tommy Jeffries from Bungendor. He has the lead just, uh, but he has plenty of interest around him. In lane six, on his shoulder is Joshua Walker from Jerobombra, part of the Jerobombra crowd that have turned up for this one. Two boys from Jerobombra. And on his right side, and I think he's going to be able to do enough here was Thomas Jeffries. Yeah, we have a competitor under the direction of the officials that's gone back into the water. And uh, the reason for that is uh, he's not just having a dip, he has to retrieve his cap. He came off during the event, so we can't have that just floating around in the pool. It might be a bit of a nasty surprise for a swimmer partway through their event to have to encounter just a, an obstacle like a cap in the water. Anyway, he's got it, and we're good to go ahead. Heat four final individual event of the day senior boys 50 metres butterfly Connor Catron lane 2 Luke Midgley lane 3 Cooper Cargill lane 4 Mitchell Adams lane 5 Jack Curry lane 6 Ash Francis lane 7 and Jake Young lane 8 All right, well, lane three's pushed it out to an early lead here and a, and a significant lead. It's a body length. It's Luke Midgley from Berkeley. So he's taken them out pretty quickly, and the other guys are trying to hang on. Not a lot of time to look around here in the butterfly. 50 metres of it, so it's, it's head and eyes straight towards the wall. Luke Midgley from Berkeley is doing a great job out front. He will, he'll carry the field up into the wall. And he's got one more there and he touches underwater. He glides in.
Great way to finish the day. Relays. We've got the senior girls that are going to provide that entertainment. Girls 11 to 13 years, 4 by 50 metres. Freestyle relays. Here are the teams. Heat one, there'll be three finals, three heats. Lane one, Kayama. Lane two, Browley. Port Kembla in three. Shell Harbour in four. Coromel East in five. In six, Jerangong. Waniora, seven. Aladala, eight. Jindabyne, nine. Miller Ward to swim for Kayama in the start. Eve Campbell to go for Browley. Lila During will go for Port Kembla. Mackenzie Cohen for Shell Harbour. Evie Lomka will be swimming for Coromel East. Kit Oliveira will be swimming for Jerangong. Zani Freeman, Waniora, will be the first swimmer. Eloise Davies will swim for Aladala. And Tanama Hancock Jones, Jindabyne. Racing in the final event of the day, but heat one. Girls push out with their first swimmers. And it is lane two, Browley, Eve Campbell taking them out. Setting the pace, if you like, just ahead in lane two. She will hand over to the swimmer at the northern end. The start is in the water. Changeover has happened and we have Browley still maintaining the lead. But there are four to five teams interested in this now. And I would say it is level pegging as we head down to the southern end of the pool for the changeover to come to the third 50 metre leg. All right, slight change in circumstances now. We've got lane five. Lane five. Coromel East have pushed up and have established a lead. They will hand over, give their swimmer the lead. And they have a five-metre lead as they take it into the final 50. So for Coromel East, we have Ciara Nixon. She's been pretty busy today and been swimming really well. And she's going to enjoy this one because uh, she can bring it down to the finish. And she has, for her team, a 10-metre lead. Her action is strong and efficient. She will glide in. Bang, makes the touch for Coromel East. Congratulations to all of the girls there in Heat 1. Heat two of three now. Heat two in the senior girls' four by 50 metre freestyle relay.
schools are as follows. Barrel, line one. Kuma North, lane two. Illaroo Road, lane three. Marimbula, four. Shell Cove, five. Pambula, six. Balgani, seven. Jerobombra, eight. And Kiraville will swim in lane nine. Girls to lead them out. Abigail Ross for Bowral. Lucy Walsh. Kuma North. Matilda Ward. Illaroo Road. Ina Markham, Marimbula. Layla Gilmore, Shell Cove. Miller Wilson, Pambula. Penny Johnston, Balgani, Zoe Welsh, Jerobombra, and to lead off for Kiraville in lane nine, Mia Pierce. We've got our first swimmers with the responsibility of taking their team down the pool for the first time, and uh, they're taking it pretty seriously. Very even for this first leg. A second swimmer's weight in the water. Too shallow for a dive start. They've been doing this all day in the relay, and they did it yesterday at the secondary schools. It's lane five that will change in front in heat two. It is Shell Cove, and it's in the hands of Rachel Nichols. The second swimmers for each school, Liv Kinsella, Barrel, Tatum Sky, <coughs> Kuma North, Ruby Constable, Illaroo Road, Isla Collins, Marimbula, Rachel Nichols, Shell Cove, Matilda Cook, Pambula, Lexi Simic, Val Gowney, Lucy Manwaring, Jerobombra, and Lucinda Algie, Kiraville. Edie Mottram in the pool now for Kiraville. Emily Wood, Jerobombra, Capri Dalma, Val Gowney, Macy McKillop, Pambula, Charlotte O'Neill, Shell Cove. It's with Shell Cove in lane five. The head of the race, Charlotte O'Neill swimming. Makia Tilly, Marimbula, Ella Winkler, Illaroo Road, Talia Jamison, Kuma North, and Edie Malouf, Barrel. Final swimmers, here they go. Victoria Capecchi, Capecchi for Barrel. Shell Co. still hammering it out in front. Alexis Graham, Kuma North, Caitlin Pierce, Illaroo Road, Ivy, Watson, Porter, Marimbula, Emily Nichols, Shell Co. Ella Burns, Pambula, Emily Rolfe, Balgowney, Caitlin Titmarsh, Jerobombra and Grace Thornton, Kiraville. It is with Shell Cove and Emily Nichols uh, is taking her job pretty seriously as she brings them down to the wall. But a great finish also from lane six, Ella Burns, Pambula, couldn't catch them. Shell Cove. Brings us to the final event of the day. In event 60, it is the girls' uh, senior 4x50 metres freestyle relay. Teams are as follows. Lane 1, Gunning. Pippa Basnett will lead them off. Robertson is in lane 2, Erin Bracht. Unandera, lane 3, Alexis Cambridge has the task of going from the blocks. Gugong, Alice Parsons, lane four. In lane five, Camber Warra, Layla Burbage will start. Fig Tree will swim in lane six. Zali Fisher will go from the blocks. Goulburn East is in lane seven. Willow McCullen has the task of leading off. Yas, lane eight. Tuila Tiafilo, first swimmer. And Olivia Morby will lead out for Wallandilly in lane nine. Following handovers will take place as they come up the pool. 
and lane three, Unandera has the lead with Goulburn East showing some interest as well in lane seven. All right, handing over for lane one, gunning to second swimmer, Ruby Hallam. Second swimmers are as follows. Robertson, Amelia Stendrup, Unandera, Addison Clark, Gugong, Zolin de Guyen. Lane four, Heather Colston for Camberwara. Emerson Kavanagh, Fig Tree. Poppy Edmonds swimming second for Goulburn East. It's still with lane three, Unangera at the head of the race. Poppy Edmonds. Phoebe Doyle is going for Yass, second swimmer in lane eight. And Ellie Grant has the job for Wallandilly at the moment in lane nine. About to hand over with 100 metres to swim in the championships. Lane three's away. They have 100 metres to swim. They have the lead. And in lane three, em uh, Amelia Hislop has the job of dragging the field down the pool and trying to hold on to this lead. But in lane six, they've got company. Eliana Smith is starting to come at them. And she is level. She has drawn Fig Tree back into the fight. Catherine Ellis is swimming. For Gunning, Amelia Hislop, Unandera, Violet Henson, Robertson, Aurora Gilhooley, Gugong, Lexi Haylagers, Camberwara, Lexi Price, Goulburn East, Georgie Collins, Yass, Annabelle Boardman, Wallandilly. Handing over, here we go, lane three, Unandera. It's in the hands of Emily Palmer as she brings them down from north to south. Chasing other swimmers, Riley Gaffer for Gugong, Bethany Lukes, Camberwara, Lane 6, Lucinda Corby, Cl Claire Edwards is swimming for Goulburn East. They are coming down. This is such a great finish to the carnival. It is Lane 3 going with Lane 6, and they're going to get them. Lane 6, I think, over the top, Lucinda Corby, great finish with her fellow Final swimmers, Claire Edwards, Ayla Elams for Yass, Madeline Winder for Wallandilly, Annabelle Bassnett swam the final leg, uh, swimming the final leg for Bowrell, Georgie Ware for Robertson, and Madeline Winder is going to bring it home here for Wallandilly in, year, in lane nine. Fantastic finish to the championships, uh, and no surprise, the senior girls sort of stamping their style of swimming on the carnival and giving everybody something to enjoy right at the end of the day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that brings to conclusion the South Coast Regional Schools Championships for the primary schools for 2024. Been absolutely perfect conditions down here today. A little bit warm, but with the right sun protection, I think everyone's managed to get through the day. It might be a few sunburnt kids and, and parents uh, as we get home today and, uh, and, and into tomorrow. But a fantastic championships. Uh, very, very well hosted, and uh, we look forward to the state championships now at Homebush Olympic Park on the 11th and 12th of April. We certainly wish everybody that has qualified for those championships the very, very best of luck. We've uh, got a lot of people that have uh, will have to travel some great distances to get home this afternoon and tonight. 
If you're doing that, we certainly wish you safe travels. Take care. Uh, once again, thanks to all of the officials, also offic uh, officials from New South Wales schools, volunteers, and also people from Swimming New South Wales, South Coast Swimming, uh, it's, and also uh, the staff from DAPTO Pool. From all of us here at DAPTO Pool, uh, we thank you again for your attendance and your observations. Hope you have a great evening. I uh, might like to enjoy watching some of the competition back on YouTube or whatever feed you take later on in the evening or over the next couple of days. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next year. Have a great night.